Okay, the stream has begun on YouTube. So I am dual streaming to Twitch and YouTube today. Uh, watch whichever one you enjoy most. Uh, but to let you know the difference, Twitch is going to be more current. It has less latency. So the, the chat, the stream, everything is more in line of what I'm actually seeing on my screen. So I'm, I'll be able to reply to you more quickly. Uh, YouTube is more like a 30 to 45 second delay. So, uh, but it has better quality due to the transcoders. Uh, if you're wondering which one helps me the most, I get more income from Twitch. Surprise, because they play so many friggin' ads. Uh, but I do get more income from Twitch. But watch whatever you like best. And if you lurk on the other one, that's awesome. I would also like to mention really quick that if you are watching the live stream, hitting the like button on YouTube during the live stream helps the algorithm not only during the live stream, but then afterwards. An eight minute bounty, yeah. A huge advertising, but it's a big company, an eight, an eight minute bounty. But yeah, it should be interesting. All right, so let me make sure the YouTube is completely connected here. Like I said, there's a little bit of a delay. Um, YouTube, are you there? YouTube is there. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to get started. Dorf, undeniable Dorf. Thank you for the 16 months. 16 months. Yeah, I mean, just watching in general, though. Which one Which one is the biggest income? Just watching, if, if anyone's wondering. Yeah. Dick Doug, welcome in. Uh, gonna play the free God of War DLC? Maybe, maybe. I know that's not a great answer, but I really love God of War, the new God of War series. I love both of the games a lot, but... Go on, Mr. Spice. Minoc, thank you for the 69 bits. Thank you, Minoc. How's it going, Dad? Come on, OBS, what are you doing? OBS, uh, apparently the power outage. No, it has nothing to do with it, but... Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Recording has begun. Welcome back to the Mechanitor, the solo Mechanitor, solo the whole time. So if you're just joining uh, for the first time, whatever, we're playing RimWorld, obviously, but it's 500% hardest difficulty without pausing. Uh, we're doing the Mechanitor solo the whole way playthrough, and I've been talked in to doing the Arco Nexus, and we just got to the second part of it yesterday. Yesterday was one of the hardest days of RimWorld I have ever had. It was brutal. Randy almost killed us multiple times. It's not it's not those like, oh, you weren't really close to dying. Yesterday was brutal. If you did not see the episode or the VOD of yesterday, um, you should you should go check it out sometime, even if you watch this one first. Oh my god, we got as close as you can get to losing multiple times. Like it's it's it was just nuts. Like to give you two examples, struggling yesterday. Oh, it was a struggle the whole friggin' way. I'll give you a couple examples really quick and then we'll get started. One uh, I was fighting a Diabolus raid, and I was doing fine, and I didn't notice there was a Tesseron off my screen. The Tesseron hit my character, lit him on fire. He ran into the circle of the Diabolus blast that would one-shot him, and right before it landed there, he ran out of the circle on fire, and then was still getting shot at. And during that, we managed not to die. During that, he got brain damage. The Diabolus beamed him in the friggin' brain. Luckily, Luciferium fixed it about 20 days later, but uh, almost died there. Another time, as I was like, all right, let's do a quick surgery. We had a surgery, and we got a massive infestation, um, a waste pack infestation, so they attacked right away. Uh, over 100 bugs, well over 100 bugs coming into the base, and my person gets up from the, from the surgery, and I'm like, oh, we're fine. And then he immediately has a breakdown, and he wanders outside, and he's outside wandering around, and over 100 bugs are coming through the door right by him, He's dead 100%, and then he comes out of the breakdown, and we somehow managed to salvage it. All the mechs are dead. Um, that's two of the examples yesterday, and there were even more. Uh, yesterday was a brutal day. Hopefully, today is not as brutal. We have started the second part of the Arca Nexus, but let's get in there. Uh, those of you on YouTube, thank you for being here as well. Um, is it Bob? I'm not sure. Guts, Viriatha, KHT, Laws of Art, welcome in. Uh, that's why you do hard drugs? That's right. We were on all the hard drugs, and we still almost died. Thank you, Viriatha. Drain damage. We had a lot of drain damage yesterday, that's for sure. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, we got a lot to do starting off here because... Oh, we were about to die right as we hit the 350,000 mark. Jesus. The YouTube algorithm wanted you to watch heart transplant videos after <laughs> the stream yesterday. All right, let's, uh, let's allow all... Uh, all right, get your gun equipped. Uh, we didn't get to bring any mechs with us, unfortunately. kind of sucks. Um, we are going to just settle up here really quick. Let's go ahead and go with production. We have a little building nearby. We can utilize this at first. Yeah, let's just utilize, utilize this first. So, uh, rip down some of this work. We're going to go, uh, construction as a one zone. We're going to put a stockpile zone 
or that in here. We'll we'll move, but we just need something. Needs any 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 place right now. So we're gonna close that off, that off, that off, that off. That'll be good to uh, to start here. So we're gonna need some more of this. Uh, then I'm gonna need to get a little bit of food down. Uh, he can live off berries for quite a while because and we we get packs for but yeah we're fine we're fine okay. So the plan is to get this Arcanexus part and then move to a better map. I finished the first Arcanexus. Yeah, it was rough. Yesterday was so bad. Uh, here, like, so my game doesn't even pause during that. At the end, we got a high Randy roll, like, 8,000 point raid of boss mechs. There was, like, three War Queens and a Diabolus and, like, 10. It was a big, it was a big roll and, like, 10 centipedes or something. I don't remember. It was huge. And it was coming to the base right as we hit 350. And I got, I got out. I teleported out. <laughs> it was really crazy. You could have taken him. There was no way, man. There was no way. That was rough. Um. Anyway, yesterday was just brutal all around. Just brutal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a sleeping spot way over here for breachers. Uh, we're going to assign that to us, even though we don't sleep. Uh, we're going to claim this table and reinstall that. Now, another thing, if you ever do these structures like this, you want to claim the doors, especially because raiders will literally just come and open the door. I remember a long time ago, I I didn't know that and I didn't do that. And I I very clearly remember an ancient lamp. I don't know why I'm claiming that, but I very clearly remember um, running into one of these structures and being like, ha ha, and they just open the door. <laughs> oh, the huge vampire hunting party. Yeah, that wasn't uh, an almost loss, you know, in the same sort of way, but. All right, uh, so we want to get all that stuff moved over. We'll do that next and then once we are done doing that uh oh we need to get a recreation item so structure or not structure uh recreation like i just said horseshoe oh no i'm having flashbacks flashbacks of horseshoes yes um actually we have steel so let's go ahead and go recreation steel horseshoe pin Steel chest table, furniture, steel dining chair. Should be good for now. I'm safe from enemies. They just open the door. Yeah. <laughs> Baron Knoll, thank you for the 14 months. King English, thank you for the three months. Oh, sorry yet. I'm trying to make some food. <clears throat> you, got, you got some time. Uh, greetings from a very windy Ireland. Very windy Ireland. Welcome in. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, yesterday was, uh, yesterday was brutal. It was a scary day scary day uh let's go ahead and do a stockpile zone out here and we'll just put raw resources out there set that as important and let's get that chair made um does getting loving give you recreation no <laughs> no all right we got to get some of this uh really important stuff in All right, there we go. Did I sell the colony at the end? Yes. Yeah, at the nick of time. We were about to die. There was a raid that I couldn't handle what I had. They were like, oh, no, you got this. It, there was like four boss mechs, a bunch of centipedes, some other random stuff. Frontal raid. It was going to be brutal. I think the only way we were surviving that is if the... If we had like a investation, like a really big waste pack investation. Try clicking on things in my game. I, I've done that. End up finding a nuclear stomach. No, we got the um, the detoxifier stomach, so we can, you know, we can eat stuff without getting... I think we got it, right? We're sterilizing stomachs. Sorry. That we can eat stuff without getting food poisoning, but I didn't get the nuclear. Getting loving is basically a work job. <laughs> it's funny how it's taxed. I know uh, that's a, one of the uh, powers of biphasic schedule that I didn't talk about in the, in the biphasic guide is you can have someone stack, like, Eight lovings would buy facing. What kind of kill box? I'm going to use um, a combination of two things I haven't used on the stream in a long time. One is something I've never seen anyone else use. In fact, I discovered it by accident about two, about a year and a half ago. I discovered it by accident on stream. And I remember Smurf saying, Adam, you need to make a guide out of that before someone steals it. And I was like, yeah, I'll get on that. And I still haven't. But now I'm going to make that guide this week before I use it. 
there is a strategy I have literally never seen anyone talk about anywhere. No screenshots, no videos, no clips. So I'm excited to share that. And uh, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. It worked back then. I don't know if it's been fixed, though. It was an accident when I did it the first time. Uh, I'm going to use that in combination with a, with a, um, a version of the singularity, basically. Baron no, Baron no, 10 gift subs. Thank you, Baron. Much appreciated. Sensei, thank you for the four months. Your Nexus run, could you use all the anima grass for magic powers? Oh, the grass from this? No. no. Call it the Adam Maneuver. I have a name for it. I've been calling it in secret for a while. Oh, this will be fun. Just loads of drugs and loving. <laughs> the Smurfularity. No. No. Okay. Uh, so we got food. We got uh, our stuff brought in. Um, we got somewhere to eat. And I'm a little worried about some of the stuff burning. So I might actually reinforce the outside of this with more stone before we start researching. I think it's going to be the safer thing to do, right? Yeah, let, let's just do it. Because if someone comes in and burns all of our Luciferium or something, then we're just... We're going to be hurting the Huntsman kill box. Yeah, that was that was pretty funny yesterday. I was like, what's funny about that? Nothing. It was pretty funny. Dull base fail? No. Nope. No, we are on to the second part of the Arc Nexus. I sold it. Alright. Um, Slate. Oh, there was already a wall there. I could have just left it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Arvation. Oh, God. Um... There you go. You can use those. <laughs> Forgot I had those turned off because we were building wealth. What is that pulsating thing to left? This is part of the Archonexus. So this is the ending added with ideology. So in ideology, they added a new ending called the Archonexus. And basically, you get a colony up to 350,000 wealth. You sell that colony for the map to this place. Uh, once you're here, you study this. And once you study it, you then can get to 350,000 wealth again and get the map to the next one. And eventually your your path leads you to the Arco Nexus where you complete the game. So this is the first of the Arco tech structures that we have to study for the Arco Nexus ending. Hit a new map yesterday? Yeah, just barely, man. I am not joking at all when I say we almost lost yesterday. It was so close. One of the closest um closest moments to losing, not just this run has had, but like, like I've ever had. Without losing. Thank you, Jab. Thank you for watching. Rebuilding. Are there complete versions that the game degrades before placing? Or are they already always incomplete? Rebuild them in their original form? Um, I don't know if that's how it's designed, like in the files or something. Like if that's what it takes into account. I mean, there are some that are pretty much complete, but maybe by accident, especially if they're like this one up against a hill. But yeah, I don't I don't think they're I don't think it's like it makes a full building and then destroys it, you know, if that's what you mean. It's going to be our home for a little while. Very little while, hopefully. Almost got screwed. Yeah, because my game doesn't pause on that pick what you want to bring with you screen. So, uh, and the boss mechs are on the way. Like, it's crazy. Am I going to make a mech army? Yep. I'm going to make a me mech army in this leg of the journey. Yep. I'm probably going to use mainly um, uh, Lancers and Scythers. We have to get back to that spot. More is more. True. More is uh, generally more, yeah. Do we have legendary armor? No, we do not. We do not. I don't even think we have any. We didn't even have time. Yeah, I don't even have a um, like a flak vest. We have the mech lord helmet. That's about it. So the great you can't tell the original shape. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. God, I hope Randy's chill today. Yesterday was awful. Just awful. Cargo pod, okay, whatever. 
Any ultra heavy max? Probably not on this leg of the journey. Maybe on the next one. So what's kind of nice about this Arca Nexus one is we're going to have time to do multiple set up. So, well, Randy's hitting us with a bunch of friendly events at the moment, but I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Another stage of the Nexus. Uh, next stage of the Nexus, yep. Oh, no. I, did, I can deconstruct the table and everything on accident. <laughs> Whoops. I was just trying uh, to go fast, and I went a little bit too fast. Uh, all right. A little too fast. Too fast. Um, yeah, we're gonna need one, right? Oh, that's a bed, by the way. A little too fast. A little too ref. First time catching live, watching the no pause YouTube playthroughs. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only way I play, so you never have to worry about that. Uh, do a neighbor tally of vanilla Merlin because you're a Sienna mods in the DLCs. Hey, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters, right? So, you're having fun with it still. What's the radius of the plant killing thing? I think it's only like 25 tiles or something. But hopefully we get the research done before we even through all these meals. Hope the next DLC adds a one by one table. So. All right. So we got this done. We can kite. Uh, it's going to be harder to kite and sh kill everything now because we there's so much cover that things are just going to have. Randy wasn't acting random yesterday. Oh, yeah. He was absolutely trying to kill us. He was Cassandra on steroids yesterday. That's right. All right. So if there's nothing to cook or construct, haul or clean. I mean, if everything is a one, nothing is a one, but oh, well. Fine. Okay. Okay. Zone, uh, let's just use area one for this. And yeah, All right, this is a year long growing, right? Uh, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, I panicked and just clicked on a map. This is not the map I want to stay settled on. It's okay, but I don't want this here. So once, um, once we're done studying this, Once we're done studying this, uh, we are going to go pick another map. So. Arc next ending? Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully Arc next. Uh, I should probably claim some stuff on the map. For when we do get attacked. The raiders will go up here and attack that for a little bit. Can you destroy it? I don't think so. No. I don't think you can attack it. I don't think it has HP. But because we have no sleep and we're on 4x and he's got really high research speed with everything, this shouldn't take super long. No, I, I don't have enough time today to do a 10 or 11 hour stream. So the Rural Community Challenge I'll have to do tomorrow, uh, next, next Sunday. Never done this ending. Uh, yeah, it's not a great ending. The actual ending isn't great. Yeah, so we're, we're getting through that pretty quickly. We're almost a quarter of the way through already. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start thinking about where we want to go. We need somewhere where our festivals are going to get us, um... Uh, rep with, with someone that we can be friends with so we want to be close to either the pigs or the little purple place uh we don't want to be too far away because we don't want to have to caravan too super long we want it year long growing i'm thinking right down here somewhere it'd be fine down here and then we're close to our road it's not very far away we can is it year long yeah so we can come down here uh our festival will give us a rep with the pigs I don't really care what stone. Uh, we'll check this one. If it's a crappy map or something, then we'll move. But we'll check that one. And then um, that gives us... We're close to our road. We can go trade with a bunch of people not too far away, hopefully. Um, the other option is to go over here to the jungle. I don't know if I want to go jungle. 
Maybe on the next leg, we'll see. Is, are the pigs... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Did we lose? No, we did not lose. We're on part two of the Arcanexus. Rip the run? Nope. We're on part two of the Arcanexus. Uh, meaty. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, meaty. My festival have a hog roast? No. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries, no worries. But yeah, we are uh, we are on the second part of the Arcanexus. Uh, almost halfway through the structure already. Kind of. Ever check out against Storm? I have about 20 hours in Against the Storm yet. I played it uh, a bit in early access. I also will probably play it again on stream at some point. I have a giveaway for Against the Storm that I'm going to be doing pretty soon too. The problem is, as we go further up, year-long growing is going. So 40, 60. Like up here would be great. Look at all these trades. We'd have to caravan up here. But like up here would be fantastic. But it's 40, 60. And with us trying to rush wealth mainly through uh, drugs and stuff, I don't think we want a 40-60. We want to stay in like this this band along the middle. And there's not a lot of temperate. It's basically where we are. Like as soon as we start going north, it's already not full, um, full growing. So, yeah, probably. Oh yeah, which research did it let us keep? Yeah. Wait. They made it so that the um, the Arco Nexus resets basic mech tech for the Mechanitor start. That seems pretty uh, short-sighted of them. Yeah, people were wrong too. They were like, I th they were like, it now saves uh, your tech prints for you. I think it does not. All right. So once we move to the new map, I guess we're gonna be sitting tight and researching for a little while. That sucks. A middle finger, the Mechanitor start. So we basically won't have mechs for a while. We'll get to basic mech tech with like one of our first researches, but it is kind of frustrating. How do they explain lore wise that you forget everything? The head canon is that the like blueprints and guides and books and instructions are part of what you sell. It's part of the colony that you sold. This is kind of ridiculous, but Nyla. Welcome back, Nyla. 28 months at tier two. Thank you, Nyla. Hope I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Two Fat Crew, 17 months. It's almost a toddler. <laughs> uh, thank you, Two Fat Crew. Thank you, Nyla. Driving a UFO. Nice. Nice. I wish I was. The Mascus ending. Do Thrumbo... Thrumbo are caravan animals. So they're mountable. So yeah. Yeah, Thrumbo basically serve as every kind of animal as far as... Other than they don't produce something. They are great in combat. They are... Um... They increase your, your movement speed out on caravan because they're caravan animals. They haul a bunch. Yeah, they're good. they're good. Yeah, and it didn't start us with the mechs that we started the first leg with, which is crazy too. But they produce dead raiders, yeah. <laughs> and uh, ruined trees. Thrumbo milk. Uh, don't be drinking any thrumbo milk, probably. Probably. What, new game plus? Kinda, yeah. There's a way to exploit breachers. Is there a video from you or mine to explain it quickly? Uh, I'm doing it right now. So basically, breacher AI is trying to go to an assignable sleeping spot of some kind. They don't care if it's a human or, or an animal bed. They don't care if it's a prison bed. If it's an assignable sleeping spot of any kind, that's where breachers are trying to go. And so you can exploit that by just not having any sleeping spots inside your base. So the breachers will go to the sleeping spots. Now, the only way to really make that work is to either have the no sleep gene or have something where they ignore comfort like uh pain is virtue um yeah it has to be assignable like right now if i throw down um if i go in here and and throw down more of like these animal sleeping spots this will count because they are assignable but if they are medical see how there's nothing there's no word under it anymore those are not assignable you can't assign anyone specifically to it so anything that you can set an owner to that is a sleeping spot, breachers are trying to get to that. You can use that to cheese them if you want. A drinking game every time. Yesterday it would have been every time that, oh my God, we almost lost her. Oh, we're about, we might die. That, you would have been drinking quite a bit yesterday. Quite a bit. Research mechanic is going, or done in going medieval. You write books when you research, and if you lose the book, you lose the knowledge. Psychic Soothe, nice. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, though, we're psychically dull. 
34 meals. With our character, we eat about a meal a day, so. We'll be done with this in no time. We're not going to be able to... Hang on. Is there any... Um, What's our... I think we're awful animals, right? Yeah, we're awful animals. We have a minus eight, but it's gotten up to a one. <laughs> so... Um... Yeah, there's no donkeys on the map. That's what I was hoping for. Eh, we can't... Uh, wait, there's a... There's alpaca, right? I think alpaca take a... Don't, don't take any, so... Fluffy donkey. All right, we're almost done with this. Nice feeling of achievement as your research library grows. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah, I'll harvest some berries when we're done with this. Yeah, I was looking at that just a second ago. Just like in real life. How's his brain? It's healed up. Yeah, it's healed up. Blue Spherium got it. The alpaca taming mechanator. <laughs> alpaca wrangler. Just add it to our titles. Use a caravan spot, story animals, tell us all me doing it. Now it's something you do every play. It's really nice, yeah. It's nice to have one down, even just for like if your fence breaks, right? You completed your study of the major Arco tech structure. You can't say that you understand it in any complete way, but you have detected patterns in its behavior and the way it seems to express information. With this knowledge, you will be able to interpret the next piece of the Arco tech or Arco Nexus map. All right, uh, so we need to get this for the taming now. Hopefully we don't botch too much of it. Uh, handling is out of one. Okay, so hopefully we can get a couple of these and get out of here. Are we hanging out at the Machine of Doom studying it? We're about to leave it. Uh, white, thank you for the five months. Thank you, white. Only a 10% chance to tame. I would like to take some of the steel and stuff with us, but... You don't start with any mechs when you switch Arconexus. We You don't even start with mechs researched. So, nope. Not yet. Yeah, it sucks. The Arconexus resets your research, and you don't even start with basic mech tech, which is kind of silly. You don't start with any of the starter Mechanitor mechs. Lower percent means more XP. I don't want XP. I just want to get out of here. Does it contain the mysteries of the universe? Um, yes, just a, a sign with the number 42 on it. Like Soothe is ending. Kill some stuff and make a bedroll. Why? <laughs> we can't use the bedroll. We don't sleep. It's literally never sleep gene. And I don't want extra wealth right now. Hey, we got one. Mice were clever. Made a killing on the talking circuit. But the experiment was done. Research bench right now and caravanning it more weight efficient. I'm not sure, actually. But we got two alpaca already. We'll see how many we get today. I might mine the components before we go to if we get a few more alpaca. Feels like we might as well, right? Sold to mechs. Aren't they physically bonded to a Mechanitor? Yeah. So, <laughs> so imagine we sold, we sold that base to them and they show up and there's all these machines walking around like, oh, that's interesting. And they just go about their business and a day later, the machines all turn on them. Lucky for them, we didn't have a lot of combat mechs, but. Let's see if we can already carry all this. So we're going to check this spot out. Yeah, not quite. Not quite yet. We'll wait a little bit. Alpaca my bags. That's right. Alpaca my bags. Lose your knowledge of the material world. Uh, Pyroclastic. 32 months. Thank you, Pyro. Appreciate it. I think I might as well go ahead and grab uh, components over here, right? It's another uncle! 
How many of you are there? This is the story of Adam and all of his uncles. How many? How many? <laughs> That's like my fourth uncle. Uncle Slave 2. Plus two years more sadness. Dunkle. Uh, uncles only make you sad, apparently. Another uncle. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, bossy. Hey, welcome in, Bossy. Good to see you. Seven months? Thank you for the seven months. Loving sandwiches. Yeah, that's, a, that's an old that's an old saying, but it checks out. My family wants me back. Adam versus uncles. <laughs> the playthrough. Heard your explanation about uncles. Somebody just said, what? For some reason, this run, we keep running into my uncles that I didn't know they existed. It doesn't show every relationship until they show up. Yeah. And here, it's only showing... It's only showing six uncles at the moment. So we only found six uncles. Only. <laughs> I'm not battling raids. I'm trying to trying to escape an army of uncles. Hey, just go ahead and do these. I don't know. What about secret uncles? Really like this P music track too. People were asking me my favorite P music tracks. This is definitely one of them. It's pretty high up on the list for me. Get to your debuff again. No, I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to quit selling my uncles into slavery. It's tough, you know. They don't make a patch for that. <laughs> Collecting all my uncles like Pokemon. <laughs> Imagine if I had enslaved every uncle and kept them. I didn't know. I might have I might have been tempted to do something like that if I had known I had six plus uncles. That would have been pretty funny. Let's go on, little girl, welcome back. A plague on my alpaca. Oh. Um, um, you might take them to the animal sleeping spot. Fifty-seven percent tin, not bad. Turn them all into vampires. Now I know I have to go back and try to collect them again. Likely death ponds immune to the Arco attack building emanations. Yes, they are. During the daytime, we try to train alpaca. During the night, we mine. There's only two left, huh? Okay. I guess we're mining now, then. Um. Our uncles and aunts have 13 kids. They have so many cousins. You could, you could be a tribal. Be a tribal. That kind of family. Newton, are you are you from a tribe? <laughs> yes, Rimworld does give some crazy stories, yeah. Definitely social stories like that, too. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, all right. Back to mining. Well, I like components on this map. We can get those other two alpaca. I mean, we can get steel elsewise. 
elsewhere pretty easily, right? So we will need a lot of steel on this leg of it, but the first Arc Nexus, yep, yep. Yeah, it was rough, man. Yesterday was was not good. Not good. We were really close to losing a bunch of times yesterday. Hopefully, it rainy just chills out for a little while today. Only hope. Reject the family in favor of his robot friends. Parentheses there. Very important. And this map. Not even uh, doing any strip mining. Got quite a bit of components. All right. We need to go start setting up our next... Uh, I was going to call it a forever base, but it won't be a forever base. Um, I think we're going to wait on this to get over the plague. If, and whatever we have tamed by that time... Uh, I don't care about that. Make separate accommodations around the buildings for the Hussars. Yeah, yeah. So psychically deaf are not impacted by any of that kind of stuff. So like, um, they're also not impacted by, um, well, I mean, droners, of course, but also the, um, uh, the harmonizer implant. Uh, Wait, you saw more components, or, or, or what are you talking about? Is it in the southeast? I didn't see any. I mean, you could probably find more strip mining, but... Any ancient injuries on the map? Uh, oh, down here. The very south. I was like... I'm blind. Under the water. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, any ancient dangers? My eyes just kept going to the steel. I'm like, steel's not components. I don't see any ancient dangers. I'm blind. Do you see any components? <laughs> Kids show. Thanks, Dora. There we go. Uh, is it better to put it underground or on a night owl schedule? I I don't think it... Yeah, I don't really think it matters. They want to be indoors. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or night. They just want to be indoors. So it, it's it's indoors, not in dark. So as long as you have them uh, at a job where they're mainly indoors, they'll be fine. All right, let's see if we get the last alpaca today. And then uh, we're going to head on out. What's up a thing where or with this psychically deaf calling us with a negative mood psychic harmonizer potato and greater mood when they attack yeah yeah that would be interesting you have to get it really low a mood hole <laughs> how high were the rate points when the second map begun i'm not sure yeah it's so the thing about this is single pawns get way less raid points so i don't know i probably should have put that mod on but i'm I don't usually play on low pawn count, so my break points of like wealth to raid points that I'm I'm generally thinking about are um yeah, let me move, move him um are based on multiple pawns a, de a normal sized colony with this one though he's getting less raid points because he's by himself but as soon as we get like a second colonist it would go up um yeah there is still one left okay. Interacted recently. Maybe we just don't wait on it. Because we need to go start getting set up. At the end of the other one, it was pretty high, though. We had a raid. The last raid that I ran from, right as we were, like, literally going this map, was... Th uh, was it three or four? I think it was four boss mechs. Probably, like, six or seven centipedes, and then a bunch of littler... Or smaller mechs. Littler, that's right. A bunch of smaller mechs. So it had to have been a... It could have been a bigger Randy roll, too, though. I think we were pr pretty close to raid cap, if not raid cap, even with a single pawn. Is that against the royal ending? Yeah, because I'm going to do it next. This one is more thematic for the Mechanitor. Why is the machine killing everything around it? That's what we're studying to find out. Kills everything other than Animagrass. 
Okay, we didn't get it. Uh, we're just going to go. When it's daytime. I actually don't think he uh, failed it. I think it fell asleep, so... So when we get to the next base, we make a little um, a little base with a trap tunnel, and we get our research done again, which is unfortunate, but it's what we gotta do. No, it did it did finish the interaction. All right, we're gonna check the old, yeah. Let me know what it was, and I I didn't even check if there was multiple mech groups. I just saw the first one. I was like, oh, we gotta hurry because with no pause, you know, it's not gonna give me give me any time. So there could have been an, a second group on the map too. I didn't even look. A granny summon. Let's see what granny has to say. A king loser, welcome in. All right, let's go. We're gonna go check this map out. I say check it out, but hopefully we're just gonna stay there forever. Well, until the end of this Arco Nexus trip. So we can bring no steel. Ba basically, no steel. That's fine, we'll get steel there. Got a bunch of components. Had beggars show up, got in a social fight, beat the other to death. They blamed you for betraying them. Yes, yeah, I had that happen not long ago too. All right, wait. let's see what quote you get. Actually, you can quote if you want. All right. Get out of here. Mechanator and his three alpaca, no mechs. I can't believe it starts the Mechanator with, without even basic mech tech when you reset. It's crazy. I mean, it's like, it'll take no time. It's 200 research points. We'll get there in seconds, basically, but it's a little bit silly <laughs> that he that it resets that. Uh, is there any reason for me to go back to this map? I don't think so. I got everything I needed, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it still shows it. Cool, we can go back. Oh, I wonder if that resets the map. Can we just keep going back there and mining components over and over? We might go back and just see later on. Because if that's the case, you could really cheese that. You could just keep going back and mining components and whatever's on the map over and over. If there was an ancient danger on that map, it would reset the ancient danger too, maybe. Yeah, check it out. Let's farm that ancient, same ancient danger over and over. Find an Arco Nexus map that has ancient danger with Arcotech items. <laughs> If you go back, I went to the old base before that you sell, and it just becomes a typical... I wish it stayed as whatever you made. But yeah, if we went back to our old base, it will just be... Um, a typical, like, NPC base, yeah. A little wood hut with nothing. It was six centipedes, two dialysis, two centurion, two militor. Okay. So maybe there was two groups. I swear there was War Queen. I I feel like I remember, but yeah, I mean, if you just looked at the VOD, I'll have to go, I'll have to look too. I, just, I remember even mentioning when we saw it. Like I said, there might have been two groups. I don't know. It was all a blur. I just needed to get out of there. That's what I, that's what I knew mainly. But I'll look. Should you play the community challenge today or continue your Arco next run? Whatever, whichever one you think would be most fun. That's a lot of rich soil. Um, there is a ancient danger. Low psychic drone. That's a lot of rich soil. I think this is okay. I think we'll stay here. We'll settle around that rich soil. Maybe put our base here. Our starter base. Yeah, this looks good. You saw two War Queen? You just checked as well? Okay. Play Comet Extended? I'm not. I'm not. All right. Um, there's not really any structure that we can repurpose this time, though. Um, let's just go ahead and... No, I want to go straight to stone. Yeah, let's go uh, stone cutter. And let's plan this out. I'd be careful of being too close to the edge here, though. 
I also don't want to be right smack in the middle. So I think base here, we use this for our, our growing. We can cut that off later. So where does the edge of this start? We're going to build more normally in this one than we did on the last leg. Normal, normal for me, anyway. And then I'm going to have a little prison. I'll put that up here. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we'll start with a trap tunnel on this side. And then we'll wall all that off later. Be a shame if that becomes polluted. I know, maybe I should actually try not to pollute that area this time. Hmm. Going south. So the problem with it here, for anyone that doesn't know, um, waste pack infestation, there's a rare one that happens in the center of the map, even without pollution. And I don't want one to spawn on us. So I'm thinking I... I start here, I cheese the side of the map here with chunks at some point, and then we have mechs harvest both of these big patches and we leave that for the infestation. We'll see. It's Minox's wife. Let's go on Minox's wife. I don't know, Miss Knock, Miss Knock. Yeah, it's really low. It's a really low percent, but you can have a waste pack infestation event with no waste packs it's, or a pollution infestation. It's weird and it, it spawns basically in the middle a close infestation spot it is yeah but it's better than in the base uh we also are going to want a burn area still we'll probably put on this side yeah uh, this will be good to start we can always uh fine tune it as we go but we just need something to start i think steel and wood right hey boy it's settling in the direct middle i just explained it like literally just explained it on this run so, two reasons. One, you can have a waste pack infestation. It's a low chance, less than a percent, I think. Spawn without any waste packs, and they exp they spawn in the center of the map. So if you've ever seen that happen, uh, we've had it happen a few times on stream, but there is a rare event, not from waste packs, but it's the same bug as the hives, and they spawn literally in the center of the map. So that's one reason. I can't really deal that with that with one colonist. It's very rare, but it could happen and, lose, and we could lose the run. The second reason is I want to cheese breachers, and so I want to be close to an edge that I can block with chunks. And that way when breachers spawn, they're like, if we're in the middle and we're cheesing breachers to like the bottom left and right, and a breacher spawns here and they pass to that bottom left cheese, they're just going to destroy our base along the route. So those are the two reasons I'm thinking that I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with, um, oh my God, it's raining. Um, structure, furniture, shelf. He's done. He's done. Missing wood. Hurry up. All blue sphere. We'll die without it. But yeah, that, that's that's the main reasons I'm thinking. Mainly it's that it's a low chance, but we've had it happen multiple times on the stream. And every time it happens, people are like, what? How did you get a waste pack infestation with no waste packs? Thanks, Tynan. What time is it? Uh, it's noon where I am right now. Uh, in my country, there's a lot of different time zones here, but where I am specifically. So I need to move these. They're not eating that food. Miss being in streams, okay. If you ask me questions, yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Can't take a nap. No, I I waited for your uh, your quote and then I didn't see it, so I stopped sitting here watching the chat for it. Did you do one eventually or? Uh, no, you still haven't done one. I just scrolled through all the chat to that that point. What time is it where you are? What's W H Warhammer? There we go. It's good for now. I have my own time. That's right. 
Do you think you need a challenge today? No. No, I don't have time today for a 10 or 11 hour stream. So today I am just doing um, continuation of the mechanic to run. We got marble. I might as well just start it with marble then. Uh, make marble block. Do forever. Drop on the floor. Okay. Challenge next week? Yeah, I'm going to do it as well. Yeah, as we're time zones, you have to... Do you move to Indiana before or after they change that savings in Eastern? Uh, we moved here in... What year did we move here? 2015? Should they call us Bio? Sure. So yeah, I don't think anything's changed where I... I've been here, yeah. In Indianapolis, anyway. Why'd you leave the Arcanexus map? Um, because we already did the full study of the device, which is all we needed to do. And I didn't want to have to worry about... So, the Archonexus structure kills plants in a radius around it. And also creates a bad mood for uh, pawns around it. Moody buff. And it was taking up quite a bit of space. So, I'd rather just move to one. But another really big reason is I wanted to, I needed to be close to a trade partner. I always had... since I, Yeah. yeah. Alright, it's like my dear old granny used to say. He won't even allow us to rub holy water on his body. That was me we were holy water, granny. Miss breakfast and marbles. Yeah, I thought about bringing it back, yeah. So, I plan on doing the Archonexus. Yep, yeah, we've done the first part already. First part is done. Part completes. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's probably not a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, do what? You might ask. Um, I want to make this it's full final size, even though I don't need it that yet. Will I regret it? Maybe. 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 We'll see. Dazzle! Dazzle, thank you for the five months. And Tone Guy, thank you for the two months. Oh, why did I say five months? The five gift subs. It popped up as just a single line on my screen at first on, on there. Dazzle, thank you for the five gift subs. Like, wait a minute. Five months doesn't sound right. Uh, thank you, Dazzle. Your favorite ending? Really, but it takes forever. Yeah, it is a long one. Uh, Dazzle, thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> and Tone Guy, thank you for the resub. Spawns happen during the bows only run. That was one of them? Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Yep, you're right. Um, because... And, and people kept asking, like, how that happened, yeah. Didn't think it was possible to stay on the same map. Yeah, once you do the research of it, you can leave. Once the research is done, you can you can get out of there. Ranching cows are the best for ranching. One of the best, yeah. Seems worse than horses. There's something not accounted for there. So, as usual, it just depends. I like horses better overall. I usually tell people that I prefer horses. Um, and one of the main reasons is that horses are also a caravan animal, a uh, mountable caravan animal, so you can haul their stuff, their excess off very easily with them. Um, one of the good things about cows, though, is their large body size. So they are really efficient to feed meals to. So you can actually feed cows um, their full whatever meal pretty efficiently, especially with paste meals. But you have to you have to micromanage it. Yeah, overall I do um, I do like ranching horses more than cows, but cows are really good too. Yeah, they're all uh, are, they're both one of the one of the better animals to ranch. Find a new major architect structure if you move your colony to a new town. Um. You can continue the quest when you get to 100, 150 and then 350,000. But no, if you if you don't finish the research on the Arco Nexus structure and then move, you can go back to it. 
Like, it'll, it'll be there. You can go back to it. It stays there. Even if you abandon the tile, you can go back and resettle it. So you do have to study that one before you can continue. Animals by harvesting milk if you need that. That's true. Yeah, and you do get the, the milk coming in uh, more incrementally as well and waiting on the meat. A high mate. Rosa. You're with a $100 donation. Thank you, Rosa. Happy holidays. Um, That's very kind of you, Rosa. Man, Rosa, you've been a huge sport of the stream for a long time now. Why do I always get a high mate drop from this guy? I don't want to go save them. I don't want them to latch on to us, but... Uh, man, Rosa, thank you again. Very much appreciated. Yeah, there's always a mod for everything. Yeah. You can get a mod so you don't have to micromanage the cheese for... The cheese for cows. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't. See, that's that's a cheese as well. If you don't know, if you get an Abasia drop, you can you can go to where the Abasia is before you accept or anything or or whatever, and you can kill them with no no mood hit. If you deny them joining, you get like a minus three or whatever. But we just kill them and we don't get anything. So excellent. Alright, psychopath. Yep. Now they're definitely staggering, staggeringly ugly. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's have a grave so it can be the source of a breakdown. Is the best map size for a long run colony? I mean, whatever size you enjoy the most, that you can you can fit a big colony on any of the maps. But it's really about performance and how you feel about tick rate. Like if you don't mind low tick rate and playing on like one X a lot and stuff like that, and you're whatever, then having a bigger map is a, is mostly advantageous, more advantageous than is disadvantageous. Um, <laughs> I said that kind of weirdly, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, if, if you don't mind the tick rate, then a bigger map is good. My preferred map size is 275, which is the big the big side of medium. The second, it's the biggest of the medium presets. For factions like the drop, uh, still slightly more effort. Yeah, yeah, you can load them up. Yep. Well, they're a beige. Yep. We don't have that right now, but yeah, that is an interesting thing you could do too. At least I didn't make fun of them like the one yesterday. <laughs> that, that was pretty awful. There was a guy bleeding to death. He had six hours to live. We went over and I killed him in two melee hits. Uh, and then I told him that he was a loser because he died so easily, but he was already dying. Uh, Shell, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Shell Bell. Much appreciated as well. Um, I recognize some of those names. Thank you, Shell. As your first gift subs as well. Very much appreciated. At least first to me. Thank you. Kill that innocent injured person. No mood debuff. That's right. That's right. Why would there be? You're first. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a mod for mass graves? Oh, God. I bet there is, but I don't know. I don't know of one, but I, bet I would be surprised if there wasn't. Just RimWorld questions and RimWorld things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're going to dump our raw stuff over here. It's important. There is one. Well, does not surprise me at all. Doesn't surprise me. Need burn pits. You always play 600 by 600. Oh god, I would not. I mean, if you if you don't mind the tick rate for it, more power to you, but I would not. Again, though, that's the great thing about RimWorld. It's it's a sandbox game. It's super sandboxy. Play whatever you uh whatever you enjoy the most, you know? 
doesn't matter. Uh, this is the second part of the Archonexus, yeah. Yeah, second part of the Archonexus. Side radio to see operation regarding the Archonexus type stuff. Uh, I don't think so, yeah. Not unless they added that since the last time I played, but I don't think so. Can't believe I have to redo all the friggin' research. Part of Vanilla Expanded, they also have a funeral pyre. Not quite a burn pit, but it's close. Close. Oops. Let's let him get all that stuff moved. Let's go ahead and set up some zones. Uh, inside. Walls. Work. Uh, mechs. Animals. I don't think we're going to have animals, but... There are multiple. You can confirm as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Colorblind Minerals, the mod for the for the ore. So, story behind Colorblind Minerals is that um, it was a required mod. Like, literally a required mod. Um, in Rumianship. And then, so I, I had to use it for that. And then I had some people come in that was like, they were like, thank you so much for using that. It makes it so much easier for me to watch, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I had already gotten used to it too. So I was like, all right, I'll just keep using it. I actually got my first comment about it yesterday on YouTube where someone said, they were like, actually, I think that the colorblind mineral mod makes it way more annoying to watch your videos. But I guess we have to cater to the minority on this one or something. Something along, and I mean, the comment's still there. Didn't delete it. Didn't reply to it. But I was like, "Wow, okay." <laughs> oh no, the steel is is orange. I'm so annoyed by this. Okay, all right. As the main character of reality, like, all right. <laughs> all right, take rate. No, your potato can't handle it. Uh, let's go ahead and get all that hauled in. <clears throat> I'm just an NPC. What do I know? Right. I was pretty taken aback by it. I was like, all right, well. You can't play without colorblind minerals anymore, and you're not colorblind. It's weird without it. I do wish the colorblind minerals thing would let let you adjust the colors individually. I would change some of them a little bit. I'd make some of them a little less intense, and I would definitely get rid of the the two blue ones being so close in color. You install it thanks to the, me using it. You really like it helps helps your eyes as well. Yeah, the orange being like um, iron oxidized oxidized iron or whatever. Uh, that one makes sense. Some of the other ones that were a little bit extreme, I'd probably change it a little bit. Why do I place the doors like that? Um, I will explain a little bit. I'm going to build something onto it, and I'll explain why they're like that when I build it. Components in gold are a little bit close to... That one's a weird one, because... It seems like the components in gold, for someone that actually is colorblind, would be... Um, would be very difficult, depending on which colorblind they are. There's a lot of different kinds. Feels like it would be really difficult for them to distinguish, you know? That one is that one is an odd one. It doesn't seem like there's an option to change this one, yeah. Let's see. No options. Uh shell, think we're the hundred bits also. Thank you, Shell. Lots of first, lots of first. Much appreciated. Alright, we'll get all this brought in. Uh, a little bit more marble. We'll get the trap tunnel done. And then we are going to uh, get our research back, I guess. Just kind of frustrating, but gold components can be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that, that one is kind of a weird one. I agree. Uh, all right. He's not great at growing. We don't need a lot, though. So we're going to have him grow some rice. 
probably more than yeah it's fine though uh and then i don't even think he can grow smoke leaf or wait what is his at he has a three yeah so hmm hmm I've never hid those before. You probably have to go into the actual data files to change it. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, all right. So why did I set this up like this? So I'm gonna make a trap tunnel here. And this is gonna be the main one that I shoot from. However, I want with a single pond to be able to peek from behind them and shoot them so they'll come back this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and get this set up. And this will allow me, so like, this will be the open door. But if they're gaining ground here, I can close this door and come over here and shoot them. And then when they run over here, I can go peek out again and just back and forth. Should work with smaller ra raids until we can get better stuff set up. You have to edit the mod to change the colors. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Get some traps set up. Um, We have enough marble right now. We're just going to suspend this then. Okay. Add that to the zone. Security. Probably way more traps than we need, but... Door side or away from it matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as your character is not exiting onto a trap, you're good. I typically... So I should say it can matter. It's 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 generally not a big deal. But I typically put the traps hugging where the raiders are trying to pass. And there is a reason. If a couple raiders die and they drop their stuff and their corpse in here... Um, between fences, the fences no longer slow them down. They'll go up to normal speed and they will sometimes bypass uh, the traps or they'll just go whichever direction is fastest, which sometimes can be through the through the fences. So a, very occasionally you'll get it. So this makes it so they'll hit traps when otherwise they were they were passing over corpses and not hitting them. But it's it's yeah, you don't have to worry about doing that. I it's just a habit because I've seen that happen where I try to hug the building for, for passing reasons, but as long as you're not blocking the door and your pawn can move diagonal between these, you should be good. Silver is way close to normal. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. The two blue ones. Yeah. Silver is like light blue and plastic is just slightly darker. Yeah. Um, zone, remove the roof area. I'm just going to actually wall that in. Normally wouldn't do that sort of thing, but I think I'm going to. Until we get mechs. We don't want uh we don't want enemies coming and setting this on fire, you know. So there we go. Make sure he survives. Wow, to my base. Sold it for the uh, second or the first part of the Arconexus. We're on to Arconexus part two. Furniture. Guess we'll wait until we get more marble. Sold it like it was my uncle. <laughs> Good. It's funny because it's true. Can you visit the old tile? You can, but it is just a NPC base. They basically wiped the entire thing and put their little wooden base there. Did they base the ore colors in the default zone? I'm not sure what the developer uh, developer decided to make it the color they did. Yeah.
350k and they just level the place turn into a wooden hut yeah what's new goal for part two more wealth well i mean we have to get to 350,000 wealth each time yeah so that is going to be the goal the long-term goal again right now though i need to get to the point where uh we at least have agrahand so that it can start making drugs because we'll die without drugs we need to keep an eye on our uh, lucerium very, very important in fact let's split the lucerium off so i can keep a really close eye on it Uh, and we have to, we have to get the pigs allied. Have I done a full Arco Nexus run? Yeah, the very first run I did of Ideology was an Arco Nexus run. I believe. It was either first or second, but yeah, I've done it before. They've changed a little bit since then, though. Alright, let's just spin that. It was taken out. The dumping zone out there. Stockpile in here. Production, uh, simple research. All right. Um, do you have a geothermal nearby? Not what I would say is near. Not like super near anyway. Okay. Uh, let's knock out batteries and then we'll get our mech tech. We missed today. Uh, we f we did the research on the first Arco Nexus. That's basically it. So still still early into today's stream. Uh, and then let's also go ahead and just put a. St oh, where did that? Where did that? There we go. I accidentally turned off zones. Whoops. Has it changed a lot? It's changed a fair bit. Yeah, mainly they've um, made it so you can't cheese as much. Honestly, that's the main changes, so. Is there a little understanding on how it go, how it works? Yeah, so the core of it's still the same. You build up wealth on a colony, you sell it for a piece of, uh, or some information to get to the next part of the Arco Nexus, and you keep doing that until you find the final uh, Arco Nexus structure, and then you go there and do the ending, I'll, I'll say. I'll call it doing the ending. Sucks we have to redo all of our friggin' research, but here we go. Alright, uh, while I'm doing that, let's take a look around here. We got some components and steel, of course. Do we see any gold sticking out? I don't see any gold sticking out. Um, do we need to keep an eye on that? We have an ancient danger. We also do need to start doing the rituals, like, really soon. Um, to get rep with the pigs. We can go try to get Lucerium. Is that a 40%? We need an Altar and a Lectern. So, Altar Closet, I guess. We'll go down here. Uh, construction is at a 1, okay. Alright. Um, Altar Closet, Small Altar... The real altar. A lectern. Weird having wood on this map. Like last time we were in the desert, right? So very little wood. I can't this research doesn't make much sense. It's, it is kind of frustrating. Starting the Archonexus gives them massive amnesia. A gift. The XRX of the shrines are on another location. I don't know what you mean. We already did the study on it, so we we already did it. So now now we just need to get up to three hundred fifty thousand wealth again, and they'll give me the map to the next one. Then it's a different map. This is just game. Yeah, it, it was I think their version of New Game Plus, right? But uh, yeah, we already studied the first one. What's the purpose of setting up the altar this way? Uh, okay, I'll go over this. This is a cheese called the Altar Closet. Explanation Altar in chat on Twitch will tell you more if you really want, but I'll go over it. I haven't gone over it this time. So basically, the Altar has multiple versions of the Altar you can get uh, that requires different, has different requirements. So basically, you re-roll the Altar until the only requirements are all floored. Now, typically, an Altar 
um, will be, you'll get a mood debuff and you'll get a thing over here that says it's, um, uh, you know, the, you're, you're getting a new mood debuff for the altar, um, being somewhere it's not supposed to be. And so it snapshots one altar. So normally you can't have the altar without that debuff. If it's in a room, uh, that has workstations or beds or something like there, or like that, uh, what, is it disrespected? Disrespected, I think is what it says. Yeah. Alter missing if you don't have one at all, but disrespected if you have it in a room with beds or uh, or anything like that. Um, hang on. So what you can do is it, it snapshots one altar and then that's it. So if you have one like this, you can put it in a small room that's all floored. That will satisfy it so you don't get the disrespected altar debuff. And then you can use the other altar wherever you want. So you don't use the one in the closet. Um, you just make one and have it floored and that satisfies it. But explanation alter is that same explanation if you end up um, end up needing to re-reference it. Okay, 75% as good as we're going to get. Let's just run it. You do these on cooldown. Fun, good. Plus 10. Okay, they're at minus 82. All right, keep going. Uh, yeah, A-L-T-A-R, yep. Yeah. So the altar closet is a cheese where... See how we're using this one out here, but it satisfied the requirements of the one in there. It doesn't matter this early, but at higher expectations and more colonists, it ends up mattering. It's a way to make it so you don't have to make a room for your altar in ceremonies. It took away basic mech tech. Yeah, we just now finished researching it. Transfer pod. Yeah, we're not going to worry about any of that right now. It's an old clip, but it's still applicable. That's where you see you. Salvation of a child. My god, no, not yet. Sorry. It was probably my uncle. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we are um, fluid ideology, so we are going to reset this and do them again. So, you can reset these and it'll reset the cooldown as long as you rename them. Uh, we'll keep doing the social one. Actually, with this one, we might want to do the, uh... Nah, it's fun. Huh. Actually, thinking about the, uh, Sky Lantern one, but right now I don't want extra stuff from visitors, so... Alright, we want this anytime, um, nearby faction goodwill. Nearby faction goodwill. This is how we're going to get friendly with the pigs. Everything else is fine. Sometimes after you do this, you have to um, remake the altar. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Can't believe that bug is still in it, but we'll see. Now yeah, we're good. So it checks out. It's an old clip, sir, but it checks out. Well, that really silenced that music quickly, huh? Fun number one. I'm not even sure what a fun number one is. They have like a target painted in the toilet or something. Whee! An unforgettable number two. <laughs> God. You guys ever had an unforgettable number two? Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. Is that new P music? No. There hasn't been new P music since maybe like March or something. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> So you don't have to make a giant altar room yet. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to have a dedicated altar room. Boring number four. I don't even know what a number four is. Is that like a, a Big Mac meal or something? 
Oh my god. Whopper. Double Whopper. Base defense guy with the fire box. If you have the flamethrower mechs, can you have it continuously fire? Yep, that's what I've been doing in this run. Yeah, you need two of them basically to do that, Andy. Yeah, you don't need you don't need fuel for that. You can, yep, yeah, as long as they have energy. Come on, man. We need just one more good festival. Respell your name in the snow. That's a fun number one. I'll take that. Oh my god! Now we have to wait twenty days for that minus two. That's crazy. Bad luck. Bad luck. What Orphus is number four? best we don't we don't ask that question probably i don't i don't want to know i don't want to know so this is going to be a prison it's going to be some storage food storage uh okay corners who is this Seen so long yesterday? Yep, because we we completed that part of the run. Yeah, we're on to the second part of the Ark of Nexus now. Is the extra ritual still a thing? Haven't seen you do it in a while. I just did 12 rituals, so is that what you mean? Using fluid to reroll rituals? If so, then yes. Or do you mean the other types? The reason I'm going social, it's an easy one to get high percentage with with a solo pawn. Uh, this is the second part of the Ark of Nexus, yeah. Yep. We sold the first colony, we're on to the second colony now. Right, let's get this done. We want to be able to uh, capture and release some pigs. Why did you do that? Why did I do what? Well, you have to re-search again on each part of it. Yep. That's the Arco Nexus ending. That's just what you do. Why did you sell it? You sell it for a map to the to a part of the Arco Nexus. That's just how the ending works. Yeah. So for anyone that doesn't know, you get to three hundred fifty thousand wealth. You sell that, you you get a base of 350,000 wealth, you sell it to uh, a faction, they give you a location of this, one of the parts of the architect thing. You go there, you research it, and then you do it again. So, on to the next part now. Okay, so um, we need to, yeah, let's get this done and then we'll get some power set up. A heck of a realtor to sell that place, yeah. <laughs> Just add a reset and cool down to the six you're allowed. You can do that by switching to an ideology that has another, an ideology specific ritual. The downside is you can't reset the cooldown on the other six doing it that way. So I typically would rather just reset the six. But yeah, for anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, um, like if if you come in here and re-roll, let's say we didn't have high life, you have these six festivals and then you add high life, you'll also get the um, uh, the bong whatever festival. And so you'll have seven festivals instead of six. You can still do that, but you can't reset the other six's cooldown because you can't re-add them. So it's up to you which one you find more valuable, having seven total or having Six that you can reset. Separate DLC, so you lose everything. Yeah, everything involved with the Mechanitor. It's kind of crazy, though, because uh, it's supposed to reset you to your start, your starting stuff, but it resets past that. What's my wealth right this second? Uh, my wealth is already at 44,000. Ouch. My pawn himself is worth 15k. Oof. Oof. I gotta basically stay on this wealth while we, uh... While we get our research done again. I should probably do nothing else. Go trade for Luciferium and drugs to stay alive. Get research done again. Uh... Uh, he has Dark Sight. If anyone's wondering, like... Hey, shouldn't you have some light in there? I will put light in there just for us, basically, as viewers, so it's not dark all the time. But we don't need it for the pawn. He has the dark sight gene. So, the reason I'm going to research first 
is because high tech research bench with a multi analyzer is gonna be faster research even for the other techs which also means i need to floor this with concrete to get another plus six percent research speed at least the low mechanator knows how valuable he is himself hey look horses that'd be nice Um, I need to go back through all the work stuff. Let's go set this back up. Fire, patient, doctor. We're on our own again now, right? So basic. Uh, we want warden. Running up. Handling, probably the last thing. Cooking, we want up. Hunting, last as well. Most important, uh, growing and plant cutting. And then construction. Actually, construction first. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, all in cleaning. Okay, that's fine for now. Our room is it cheaper to floor it? I'm just gonna put concrete down. Concrete's worth basically nothing. We could do a separate room, and that's what I did the first time is have a small room. But I don't want him to. Uh, you know what? I might just get rid of the alpaca. We're causing wealth, and I don't want to shear them. Uh, I could actually do this. Let's just clear the. Yeah. Okay. Stay in the work zone over the horses. Schedule him in the work zone. There we go. There we go. If you guys stop leaving me gifts, I mean, I appreciate the components, but my wealth is already high enough. Okay. High enough. So we just want to get a horse to be able to go trade for Luciferium really fast. So just one horse is all we need. <clears throat> uh yeah this is completely night and day from yesterday yesterday was so rough oh, we were so close to dying so many times like crazy close to dying mr ed do you need a talking horse no 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 talking horse just just a normal horse for me thanks thanks slab beds are cheaper what for my medical beds <clears throat> no with some silver. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. So much, Mr. Ed. B White. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you for using that here. B. Uh, I don't know whether to call you B or White. I'm gonna call you B. Thanks, B. I guess you've been left by traders to run is insane. Yeah, yeah. In the very beginning, someone left like three components. Yeah, from one of the um that one is pretty typical from the um the Lantern Festival. Oh, really sure, really notice. In game TPS FPS thing bomb, can you show it a bit? Isn't that a mod? I don't think you can show. Is there something that shows ticks per second without a mod or developer mode? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. So I just. I just don't have that mod. What's my health right now? Forty thousand. Yeah, I don't think you can without a mod or developer mode. So. That's why I don't show it. That's why. All right. Um, I might make that little research room so we can save wealth on putting this floor down. How much steel would it be? Concrete is almost no wealth. It's still 400, though. Maybe we'll just go ahead and concrete it. Show the gene pack and skills of the pawn. There's the bio. There's the health. There's the genes. 
showing ticks per second probably lowers the ticks per second. It works. Dub's performance analyzer shows it. Yeah, I don't think you can show it without a mod. Be wrong, of course. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I want to do it later anyway, so let's do it. Ah, the concrete laying ASMR. It's time to catch me live. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Yeah, no problem. And you can always, uh, you can pause on the VOD or go back in the video to see those if you want in more detail. That's some fast drying concrete. Very. It sounds like it's already dry when he's putting it down, which is impossible, but... Alright, there we go. Joe so from YouTube. Too many ads. What? Really? There should be, like, basically no ads on YouTube. That's crazy. I would not doubt if they're going to start showing more ads on YouTube, though, with all the stuff that we know. With, uh, the, their battle against ad blockers and stuff. That's usually what I have people talk about on Twitch. Too many ads on Twitch. But yeah, wherever you, uh, like watching best. Or, some people have them both, and then... Some people have them both, and when an ad plays on the other, they'll just switch to the other platform until an ad plays on that one. So, you know, we get interrupted. Full running. There's some new contracts full of running way more ads. I haven't, I haven't gotten offered one of those. There's a lot of YouTube ads on the live streams now. Oh, that sucks. Um, let's go ahead and hit up solar panels as well. Use the Brave browser. Just sub. <laughs> nice song, rain incoming. Should probably mine some of nah, it's fine. Let's go mine some of the further away steel. There's not a lot of steel in this map compared to our <laughs> Yeah, the YouTube premium doesn't get ads, yeah. I used talk generators on the last one. I'm gonna use differently this one for now. I will use some toxic stuff. Some talks generators are very efficient, but now I'm just gonna use um, a couple other ones. Pretty minutes long, 20 minutes of ads. Yep, yeah. yeah, I remember that. Gradually going back to cable. We'll see a lot of music with it. Roku app for YouTube. Not much about it. YouTube's really far behind when you run them simultaneously. Yeah, it's like 30 to 60 seconds. Firebox in the last colony. What's the plan this time? I will still do a burn box, but I'm going to do an actual mech kill box as well. So we'll do a burn box for human raids and a kill box for mech raids is, is kind of what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to use Lancers and Scythers predominantly this time. Let's get this mined. Evolving the ad department. We're regressing. I see a lot of ads now for, um, like, not YouTube Premium, but, like, YouTube TV. It's, like, for only $70 a month. Get YouTube TV, which combines a bunch of your favorite networks. And I'm like, you're just, you're just reinventing cable. We're going back. <laughs> Full circle. Happening again. They're in Hulu. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't actually look at it. I just saw the advertisement for it. The yeah, the thing I was talking about people rediscovering farming or agriculture. Yeah. I was talking to my wife about that too. It's funny. It's a new run? No, this is not a new run. This is part seven or eight of the Mechantor and Arconexus run. 
Not any run where you're just on to the second part of the of the Arco Nexus ending. Back to the classics. Found cable for us, one third of the cost. It's mostly just re regular TV channels. Can Raiders set steel horseshoe pins on fire? Yes. What's that for Christmas? Uh, yeah, we just decorated last night. Yeah, got the tree up and everything. Uh, my daughter wanted a tree that she decorated herself, so we got her a tree in her room as well. Got all of her stuff on it, and then of course our our normal tree. So I want you to let the singer this song know that it's not Yayo. Why is he saying yayo? Yeah, I haven't gotten that comment in a long time. Charlie Brown tree? No. <laughs> Aries is not taking any trees down, no. Not yet. Yayo, yeah, hell of a drug. Why not toxic generators? I used toxic generators in the last one. Right now, though, I don't want to deal with the toxic packs for a while. I just want to have something that's just going to run. It takes no interference for me, and we can just sit back and get research done for now. Don't want to have to unload tox packs and haul them. We will get to that when we have mechs and stuff again, but right now, we're just going with the renewables. Clean renewable. Always so quiet after Yayo place. Base is so bare. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's crazy getting that, doing that reset, doing that reset. Uh, moderate psychic drone minus 22. Okay. The crisp clean base. The least clutter this base will ever have. <laughs> I'm gonna miss those toxic potatoes. God, all these freaking gifts. Stop it. Stop it. Did I do a tile reset? Uh, we did the first part of the Arco Nexus. That's how it works. I have to have a command up, like, exclamation Arco or something for anyone that doesn't know how the Arco Nexus works. But, uh, yeah. The reset has happened. Started rewatching the full run last night. It's, it's been, it's got a lot of slow moments, of course, but outside of the slow moments, it's been, uh, it's been, hey. It's been pretty good. Okay, we'll set up the auto cut. Not a mod, by the way. Great addition that they add to the game sometime. Mace they wanted to leave behind. Yeah. <laughs> Would you stop carrying that piece of crap mace around everywhere? But I like it. Just leave it behind. All right. Hey, you guys want this awesome gift? Look at this wooden mace. Passive aggressive ways to kill us. Uh, they changed it. So basically, when you go to the next base, uh, you get to pick up to five pawns, up to five animals, and only seven items, including weapons. Uh, and then it resets your research, and you get basically ma the materials that you would have started with in the beginning. That's it. That's it. So we didn't even get to start with our mechs or anything. Fortunately. That temperature, uh, oh, it's warm. It is warm, okay.
Ever organ donation? No, we don't want to get any more wealth right now, so. And even though our person doesn't need light, I'm going to put light in here because I just don't want it to be this dark when I'm playing. <laughs> so. It's not a whole lot of extra power or anything, right? So. Good enough. Dark lights are cool. Can air conditioner hold up roofs on its own? Um, I think so. I think it counts as a wall piece unless you have the mod where it doesn't. I believe so. All right. Uh, so now we want to get to... Uh, machining. We want to get the multi-analyzer, so it speeds up our research. Uh, you get to keep apparel. Yeah, so like armor, but your weapons and utility slots are stripped. And they count as part of the seven. Air conditioner, a wall? Yes. It is. It's our first raid. <sighs> That's more raid points than I really... It could be a higher Randy roll, but... It'd be a lot harder to shoot things, all the friggin' trees. bed is already set for medical. Oh, you mean this one? Uh, the prison bed. My bad. We do not want wealth from these corpses right now, so I'm just going to make a dump zone like here. And I'm making it um, thin like that so it doesn't get a big concentrated spot of rot lung or rot stink. Not immune to rot stink. Only you can start force fires. Prisoners. Get these out of here. I have to previous nothing. We finished the first part of the Arc Nexus, yeah. Uh, also, let's do a zone here and put things like uh, bows. And actually, let's just go through the this. Uh, so like apparel, we'll put apparel there, but have it tainted only. Um. Okay, and then for weapons, uh, we'll let all melee weapons go there. Some weapons for now too. All ranged weapons aside from... We might use... I got a really good assault rifle and use it, but it would need to be, like, Masterwork or better, and which it's not going to fall from a raider, if that's the case. We don't want our charge rifle out there. Uh, actually, for the weapons, we can just do this. Quality. 
awful to normal. There we go. That should be fine. Put that stuff rot for now. And just this room old doors. Uh, yeah, this deletes the heat of the coolers. Yeah. I mean, how cold you can make a room. Could you make a freezer cool box? You can make a freezer cool box. Yeah, it's not very. It takes a lot of coolers and solar flare and stuff like that can take it out, of course. But so we need to get gold. We need gold. There's an ancient danger we could set up to to do, but what's total wealth now? Uh, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. All right, let's start knocking things out. Um, let's get. Yeah, let's just start from the beginning. Screw it. I need tree sowing this time. Psychoid brewing. Near for now. <laughs> yeah, but I can't build it yet anyway, right? So I guess we can knock it out first, just in case we get the gold. Yeah, might as well. I'm just thinking about what can we just knock out while we're waiting to uh, to get gold. But we see is heating and cooling. No, this is just cooling. The door deletes the heat. Well, it, even if it's un, even if it's roof, the doors delete the heat. Basically, doors count as their own little room. So, just need a little, little gold, a little plasteel, right? Got silver. We can go trade for some gold and plasteel. I'd like to get one of those horses to do that, though. Um, let's understick. Let's kill these. Don't want the wealth from that. Dude, you, you can even use it under a mountain. So basically, a door counts as its own miniature room. So it absorbs a lot of heat, like the heat of a whole room. So you can vent coolers into a door even under mountain. Single cost for 10 years? Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Long playthrough. Arco Nexus on a solo pawn. There's gold in the ancient danger for sure, yeah, but... Solve global warming, just put up doors. <laughs> Long play through the Arc Nexus. So we'll get the multi analyzer research and we need to get it built. What will you pack things on so you have no alpaca? Hopefully a horse. <laughs> I don't need to carry that much. I just need speed. Horse is going to increase our speed. In fact, let's put... Uh... Yeah, that's already at a three. Okay. Through the roof or not above the door. It helps if you can remove it because then the basically the door, since it's counted as a miniature room, is going to be the temperature of the outside if you can unroof it. But you don't need to. It even works under a overhead mountain. It's more efficient if if the map is um um uh, or excuse me if, if if you don't have like overhead mountain there, but it works in overhead mountain. Now there is something weird about it. So if you do want to use this. You can actually delete heat of up to three coolers. If you do the fourth one, it stops working. In addition to that, though, you also don't want any of this touching a wall. Um, so if you have it, like, here, it's less efficient for whatever reason. Like, this doesn't work as well as this. Why? Rimworld. I don't know why. But uh, that's just how it works. Uh, I really want to get that legendary charge rifle. I think the problem with it, though, is it saved this. No, no, that's an ancient mechanical complex. So hopefully we'll be able to get it. Yeah, hopefully. Because the uh, almighty Tynan made it, so. On hot, yeah, like a extreme desert. Yeah, you probably still wouldn't want to unroof it. Yeah, because it's going to normalize the the temperature to, um, to the outside.
Look at one of those horses. Because rim physics, that's why. Uh, if we get a trader group showing up, we might go ahead and open the Ancient Danger. It's really risky. There could be like three centipedes in there. We just don't know. Keep a prisoner secret for 12 days. Two mech clusters. Nope. I saw gold, but no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> If you open the door, I'll hate the room. No. We were getting automated again today. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and switch to nutrient paste. Man takes no prisoners. I'm in prisoners now. Yeah, yeah, works well. Uh, yeah, we'll do vegetarian on that. Now go into. Oh, we went through all of it. Okay, never mind. Fine then. <laughs> Raw fungus. Yep. Yeah. Be able to keep walls down. Maybe. Yeah. If we can actually get them freaking tamed. But for now, we're just gonna try to stay low. Get this done. Get the research done. Multi analyzer will increase speed a little bit, but. God, having to redo all the research does suck. Uh, let's go ahead and plan some things out. Um, so we're going to cheese the side of this map here. It's going to take a long time to do that, but that is the eventual goal. And so we probably want to get this uh, geothermal inside of the eventual outer wall. Very long term. Uh, we're gonna worry about getting all of this. Let's get that other geothermal. And then with that cheese, we can just wall all the rest of that in. It's gonna take a long time. That's like the very late game. And then we'll we'll get that geothermal too. That's like very late on this map, right? And now we need some kind of uh, inner area that we're going to get done first. Um, Probably just still this, but we'll cut it off like here. That's after we get some mechs. Okay, so eventual inner wall, venture out, outer wall, all that for mining. We are going to need a, um, a longish kill area here. That's fine. And I'm going to need the burn box somewhere. We, we're still going to need one. As long as this is an overhead mountain, I think I'll just put it over here. You're building to the edge. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm planning on cheesing the, the edge at some point. Hopefully. That way we don't have to worry about which side breachers come from or come to. But, uh. Where did I put the sleeping spot? Who friggin' knows? Um. I don't know. Um, did we... Did I place another one? 
Does burn box kill mechs? No, it does not. Did I put another sleeping spot down? Or was that on the previous one? Because we've we've had multiple maps today, right? So let's see. I think that I know I did on the other map, but I can't remember if I did this when we first got here either. Okay, it's selected four one. Three, four. Yeah, so if there was one in the top corner, it would have grabbed it. All right. I think we're good. Ancient items are pretty much nothing unless they are the bigger items that break into chunks. Oh, yeah, the garbage on the map. Yeah. yeah. You can get uh, slag from some of the bigger ones, but that's basically... And there's a little steel... Well, I mean... Basically, some of them you, you'll end up getting steel from. But other than that, you can't get, like, components or anything. Yeah, I think it was just the previous one. Your Bowman plus Panther beat four Boobalotes. Failed a taming attempt in Big Boom. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, we need to get those horses, or a horse. Yeah, you can get steel from a few of them, like the, I think the Ancient Washer still gives steel. Some of them give nothing, and some of them give slag. Ancient Washing Machine or whatever, I think that one still gives steel. There's a couple of them, the Lamp Post one of them as well. Not a lot either way, you know, but not a lot. All right. Oh uh, boy. Research. Uh, let's go ahead and put that out just in case. Don't want to spread to the doors. Ugh. It would be nice if they all gave steel or something, but casual component or something. Like the big tanks or something. Give me, give me a component out of it. That's putting us over with these a little bit. I think that'll be enough. The laser light show. Gone how? Welcome in. Steel traps would be great if they gave you a chunk when they tripped. That would be kind of cool, yeah. Wonder what wonder how that would balance out. So we'll just start on uh, some other things that we'll eventually need while we wait on the analyzer. Psychic ship already? On mail. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well. That sucks. Solar panels don't block windmill? No, they don't. Well, we have to take care of that. And it's, it's on the far right side, so we can't even cheese it. I mean, this is kind of cheesy because <laughs> we just outrange them. They're leashed. At least it was all Militor, I guess. <laughs> I 
All right, well, that's taken care of. Like shooting Militor in a barrel. Well, there's some of the plasteel that we needed. Nice, nice. Yeah, the rest I don't really care about right now. All right, psychic ship already. If it was female, I would have left it, but it was not. Oh, I need to keep an eye on this too. Two days for that. Low food, yeah. Plus, bionic eyes because villators are small. They're small, and we're also trigger happy, which lowers our accuracy a little bit. I keep saying how I probably shouldn't have taken trigger happy in this run. I think it's actually hurting us more, more often than it's helping us. It has helped us, to be fair. But yeah, it's a uh, legendary sniper rifle, bionic eyes, level 17 shooting, or whatever, 16 or 17. We're still missing like crazy. Small body plus uh, trigger happy. Like suppressors are great. Yeah, yeah, for a single gender colony. We had one of those in the last uh, the last leg of this towards the end. Does shooting skill actually improve mortar shots? It does now, yep. That was changed to 1.3. Yep. So good this armor rifle, it really is. I do regret it sometimes though. In the in the rare instances where it's not great, I'm like, oh man, I had something else in that place. Jogger or something. Or, or, yeah, body modder, we would be like, we would always have high mood. Uh, we might do Devil Strand here. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, the mech helmets actually give us a minus five accuracy. That's pretty huge. I didn't realize it was that big. That's so what she said. Um. Yeah, interesting. So it might be worthwhile to switch that out to like marine helmet and use bandwidth nodes instead. Or we could even just unequip it for now. I don't. I don't. Want, I need something else in that spot though. I think it's fine right now. But depending on what raid spawns, like if it's a melee raid, maybe we take it off of that raid. Yeah, I don't have the armor. Maybe Bandolier makes sense. Uh, maybe, yeah, in this run. Especially because we don't have anything else in that slot right now. Bandolier would probably be probably good. We got the Thrumbo Duster. Yeah, Thrumbo Clothing. Stream looks like spoilers. Spoilers only if you're talking about the edited episodes. But, I mean, the streams have to have to happen before they can be edited, right? So, I guess every stream is a spoiler for the edited content. Um, yeah, we're going to do any of that. Go ahead and knock this out, because we might make some courses and stuff like that for wealth later on. Come on, horse. We're using up all of our food on these horses. If it doesn't take one now, we're going to wait and build up some food. All right. Alright. He doesn't eat much, but he does need some food, you know. Does need some. You yeah, know, yeah. Go on to truth. Alright. Um Yeah, if we get a big trade group, maybe we go pop the ancient danger. The, the problem with doing that is it's gonna give us more wealth than just the gold out of it that we want. I really think we should go trade for gold. That's why we're trying to get the horse. Uh, doubt we're going to make any of that this time. Bright red and blue spots keeps tromping through. Bright red and blue spots. Oh, those are terrain affordance. I had that turned off when I was laying out the walls. But the terrain affordance button, uh, not a mod, just a button in the bottom right. Shows what you can and can't build on. Red is like unbuildable, mucky ground. Blue is water. Policeman in the crosshairs. Nope. Muddy so. 
Uh, we probably want to go ahead and get an aggro hand so things start making some get some drugs for us because we'll actually die without flake or without psychite. So uh, let's get up to psychite brewing and I think I'm going to go ahead and just get basic mech started. So we're going to need a mech gestator. Subcore encoder. I might need to melee block the prison sometimes. So I'm not going to put that right up against it. Try the Rimwar ending mod. I have not. Monkey ground. Passable terrain, really. I said muck, mucky. Muck. Another mech run. It's the same mech run. What happened to the last one? Nothing. It's continuing. We've just gone to the next part of the Arconexus. We sold the first colony for the first piece of the Arconexus. Now we have to do the second one. You heard monkey ground also instead of muck, mucky ground. So we want an agrahand. Okay. Heard mucky. Uh, let me get the naming cue up here. Um, Psychic Refining. Yes, Twitch. Thank you. View rewards, channel points, um, manage, blah, blah, blah. Request queue. Rimworld names. Yeah. For more mod, basically you need to wipe out a faction from the planet. Oh my god, it closed my... What? <laughs> Twitch, please. What was my alert? Um, We might end up making go juice again. In meditation spot. Okay, now I have to reopen those. Uh... There we go. At least that one was saved to the page. Saved to the page. All right, now we're ready to name mechs when they pop out. The mechs do not follow you with the progress. No, you don't even start out with basic mech tech researched. Yeah. You can't. It's weird. You can't choose your mechs as part of the five like animals, right? You can choose five colonists, five animals, and seven items total. All right, uh, let's go with... I don't want it burned. Be careful. Getting too much wealth, though. All right, let's give this Agrahand a name. Who is it? Rituals should... Yeah, they're probably ready. I'll, I'll double check. Twitch, please. Go. Axel, you are the first mech of the new colony. Uh, control group one. Auto repair. Uh, work mode is fine. Charge 40. Okay. Um... Mech Recharger. All right, let's let you cut blocks again. Mark Axel off the list. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. I call it to bear summon Sky God. All right, let's see. Why is Count Me Out the best at everything? You can do another one if you want. What level is Psycast? Six. Yeah, we're maxed. Max on Psycasting. Okay. 
can do another one if you want. Narcolegic Bear. It's got a, an old, not super great one. We got the time right now, so. How can you eat your chips and beat me at the same time? Or at least quotes, I don't know. Start with concrete. Yeah, for the 6% extra research speed. I've gotten one of the plus 60 point clicky things yet. Hmm. Wonder why. This is about as much as I'm expanding until we get research back up. Stream where you go through. Yeah, I've talked about doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I've talked about doing that. Might do it sometime. Like one of those marble streams. As soon as you refresh, you got one of those. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Shoot it, what's crap? It's like, nah. That's probably not hunting me. Fine. Not even worried. Okay, we can turn uh, growing and plant cutting off on him now. CO for the Mac recharger. Yeah, I gotta mine some more of that too. Yeah. Goats join. Bring goats. Trying to get this back here done first. And not a lot of close steel on this map, unfortunately. You should have the back door. <laughs> a butcher table? No, I don't want to butcher anything right now. No, so that's on purpose. Uh, so that back area is done, so we can go ahead and spin that. At least in the goats, it's fine. Yes, I need that gun. That would be great. Yeah, let's get this done. Sniper rifle and a uh, charge rifle. Find those easily. Give the dinner order? No. <laughs> yeah, there's also the 60, but that's really far over here. Closer to just mine that. Alright, All right, now we gotta get those horses. Get one of them. Not too concerned about that. What's a new relic? It's a legendary um, charge rifle. Did the previous run fail? No, the previous run was the bow run. Did I finish it? I finished the bow run. This is the continuation of the solo Mechanitor Arco Nexus run. Coolers? I don't have a command for that yet. I should have one, but I don't. Yeah, this is this is how the Arco Nexus... Oh my god, what are you doing? This is how the Arco Nexus works.
you sell your colony and you move on to the next one. Should we clip? Yeah, yeah. I did explain how it works earlier. I don't know if anyone clipped it, but I don't, I don't have a command for it. Yeah, this is just part two of the Arc Nexus. Will this be X as a wall? Uh, yes, it seems it seems that way. It does appear so. Literal sellout, right. That's what was going on. Uh, dumping zone. Where do I want the waste back infestation if it happens? I like way over here. Lego Fortnite survival game. It's a lot of fun. I've never heard of that. As long as you're having fun, though. The free game. Max a wall. A little bit. Is it due to the challenge that you don't recruit no one? Yes. Solo Mechanator. Solo being the big part. Yes. Single pawn. Oh, solo. All right. Let's get a lifter as well. Lifter. A granny summon. But yeah, solo the whole way. Solo the whole way. Not just solo the start. Not just the start. A granny. Put the children in the cold slumber. Yes, granny. Right away, granny. Just between the stockpile zone and the dumping zone. Dumping zone just starts out with only crap in it, but you can just set them up either one. But it's just the difference is what they start having allowed. Pretty much. Frost pump two. Yeah, that should be good. I have a release date on Frostpunk 2 yet. We have to go get drugs. Am I out? We might have to go without the horse. Um... Yeah, we're out. So, let's do this. No date yet. First half of 2024. Okay. A while. Do you want to say hello? Uh, thank, you. thank you, Colonel Sanders. It has been a while. Best way we're dealing with drop pod raids. I have a guide on it. It's the most recent guide I have up on YouTube, so... If you go to my channel and just look at my guides, um, or if you on YouTube type in the search Rimworld Drop Pod Raid or Drop Pod Raid Guide or something, it's a short guide with timestamps. So if you watch that um, and you have any questions after that, just let me know. But I, it is my most recent Rimworld guide specifically on how to how to deal with Drop Pod Raids. Get some coffee? Absolutely not. I don't want to go get coffee with anyone ever. Never, ever, ever. I hate coffee. Your cheap date. Oh my god, we're just stacking up boring numbers now. Uh yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you, Al. They really let me know. First half of the year. Sounds like it'll be out in October. <laughs> so we gotta go get some drugs. Um these are growing, but it's gonna be too slow. What about tea? We don't have any anything so we gotta go buy something because we are growing psychoid but it's it's not gonna be done in time no i absolutely don't my wife is making coffee right now and it's, i hate that smell done any runs lots of pets for defense like a large pack of wargs yes the i did an incapable violence run where the entire reason we won was because of pet elephants uh incapable violence is in full form and edited form both on youtube you can always check that out if you want but yeah i did an incapable violence run uh, let's see what these guys have. Maybe it makes it so we don't have to leave. The Lighty Cantaloupe, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm thinking about taking off the helmet for a couple reasons. We were talking about it earlier. I mean, combat supplier. Combat supplier. Not what I wanted to see. All right. Well, while you guys are here, maybe you can protect the base for a day. Uh, we still didn't get the friggin' horses, right? Nope. But we gotta go, so. The base fails while we're gone. Oh, well. But we have to go. Don't want to die. We have uh, genes where we have to have drugs or we'll die, so. Uh, we're gonna be gone for a day. Maybe two days, but day and a half of trading. Uh. All right. Good luck. Oh wait, we should take the charge rifle. I do not want that destroyed while we're gone. Or the, not the charge rifle, the sniper rifle. Okay. Take both of our guns just in case. Yeah. Check out Rogue Trader at some point. Yeah, people have been suggesting it for sure. Does the pawn have a specific specialist role? He's leader, just so we can get extra percentage with the um, with the festivals. Uh, sad thing for the 14 months. Thank you, Sam. Almost full calendar year. The research resets the Arcanexus. Yes, all the way back to crash landed. We didn't even start with basic mech tech. I uh, think you, Heartseeker. No worries. Cable violence run. Yeah, I have a 500% no pause and cable violence run, both edited and full length up on YouTube. You can check out if you want. It's a really crazy run, has a lot of very scary moments, and we had to do a lot of. Man, there's some really crazy moments. I just am remembering some of the stuff with cantaloupe and the bugs, and yeah, it's a good, it's a good run. Crazy. Seems impossible. Yeah, it close to it, but we did it. Long live cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah, cantaloupe was. Amazing. Amazing. Cantaloupe the elephant. God, how many times did cantaloupe save the run? I'm thinking like 20 times. Like, not even joking. Maybe even more. It gets crazy. Yeah, we gotta get some kind of psychite drug. And we're gonna have to put the drugs down so that he doesn't take them as often until we get our hours grown. Okay, they do have some flake. Oh my god, our trade thing is still so bad. We have a negative eight, so everything is so expensive. We won't be able to buy very much at all. That's crazy. I've never seen someone with as bad social. Man, that sucks. But uh, we have to do it, so. Guys, that's like four times the normal cost, isn't it? I didn't think that was possible. Whatever. We have to have it. You guys got Luciferium? No. That's crazy. We are getting super gouged. <laughs> Being a streamer, increase your social. I'm going to go with yes. Forty-four silver for a single. Flake? Everybody does a lot lately? That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, oh, shooting. Got my own drug empire. That's what I'm going to do again. Yeah. Man, that sucks. Screw that. How much does it usually cost to buy a flake with uh, on losing its fun? It's not 44. I'll tell you that much. Stormworld robbery. Yeah, that's nuts. I don't know. Uh, all right. Manage drugs mech. Yeah, so we have minus eight social. We have, uh, we might, no, I think the brain thing's over. But anyway, let's say minus eight social plus uh, health plus um, pigs. What's the base value of flake? I think it's like 14 or something, right? I don't know. It's hard to remember. Uh, all right, so the flake we're going to take every five days for now. Dude, you're lucky we even let you in here. Scaring the children, yeah. Which stage are we on? We just 
finished. Uh, we're on part two. Part two. Your modification to make your social better. No, I'm not going to modify my genes. Our genes are godlike, so. Maybe we, um, it's risky, but we might want to get one of those, like, what is it? Neuro calculator, whatever the crap it is. The trade, the trade one. Yeah, that's really crazy. Uh, all right. The lifter needs a name. Akamini, the lifter. It is 14 silver. So we're paying like triple for Flake. 14 silver base, but on losing is fun. In general, you have to pay more. Man. I don't know. It seems excessive to me. It seems excessive to me. What's up, Jimmy? What's up, Jimmy? Begin with... Thank you, Antiers. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I can get ruthless. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been ruthless on stream. I think I've only been upset on stream a couple times. Not, like, super upset. Definitely upset. What's the point at which you consider the challenge complete when I see the credits? I think so. Hang on. <gasps> I accidentally chose wake up. That's what was going on. How did I do that? I was talking and I accidentally clicked the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god. Womp womp. Alright, I gotta pay closer attention. 25%. Oh my god. Um wealth management. Wealth management. Apparently. Not intentional wealth management, but wealth management nonetheless. Alright, we'll go again. Uh did you see a cat tail? Yeah, Jim Jimmy walked by. I don't know where she went. Jimmy? Jimmy? Hey Jimmy. He's down there making little chirpy noises. He's trying to find somewhere to sleep. He's chirping. Can't believe I accidentally did that. I was trying to rush, and boy, I rushed, all right. Wealth management. Uh, but we have to go get Flake. So. Uh, when this is harvested, we'll go again. Oh, we got a horse now. Okay, excellent. Excellent. And bring this up here a little bit now. Alrighty. Can't believe I did that. It's good to be quick, but it's not good to rush. Wake up. Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. Point two days, all right. <sighs> Is that a song lyric? Oh no, absolutely not. Yes, it was. <laughs> System of a down. We are getting super gouged. What the friggin' crap. Yeah, I've never seen it so expensive. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Whatever. Need lyric. Yeah, let's just move it down.
Well, successfully managed. That's right. Oh, the two, the two. Yeah, there's no command for that one. Wow, exhilarating. Now you're on. Oh, you. Uh, okay, I was it. Hey. You're trying to stay low and wells. You succeeded, yeah. I really was. Um, we didn't get gold, but we'll go back for that after we get our stuff in. All right. Um, make flake times four. Two forever. Drop to the floor. Make flake one. Two forever. Drop on the floor. All right. And that's correct. It's not. No, it's not. <laughs> that's all right. I know what you're talking about. Bubbly booty breakfast. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Sub. Thanks, bubbly booty breakfast. Much appreciated. Good strong family name as well. Awesome. Can we see my jeans? I mean, they're not really jeans. Like, uh, it's literally like gray sweatpants, you know? <clears throat> there you go. Still the first try, still the first try. Yeah, we almost lost yesterday like five times, but still the first try. First try for now. <laughs> Just reminds me of the... The edit that one time. What kind of breakfast you want, uh... <laughs> All right, so now get some research done. Not the pants. Yeah, I know. Trying to keep myself entertained during this, you know. Why are the two coolers next to the door? Because it deletes the heat. Deletes the heat. Doors delete heat because they count as miniature rooms. On EMI cluster? <sighs> That's annoying. I gotta get, uh, not that we call in anyone for this anyway, but we're getting psychic ship and now an EMI. <sighs> we don't have go juice yet either. Well, I can't do it right now. Big real modder. User, not creator. Gotcha. Looking at some light mods. Any suggestions? So usually what I say with Rimworld mods is play the game without mods first. And then when you when you get to a point that's like, man, I wish such and such was like this. Or I wish this existed. Or I'd rather it be like this. Then go get the mod that does that. That's usually what I suggest to people that are new to the game. If you want to start with mods, that's fine too. I would say some quality of life stuff like... You know, allow tool and vein miner and octung and color coded mood bars and things like that. You know, are pretty standard, uh, low impact as far as on the game goes. We're missing quite a bit of shots. Yeah, I'm going to take this helmet off after this. Oh, God. 4X. Not, not your friend sometimes.
I would just get shot in the brain as soon as I switch that. One zone, cut drug storage out for the addicts. Zone mod, select multiple zones to union together or cut out from. That's interesting. Is there a way without mods to prioritize butchering over, um, over cooking, you said? Uh, no, there is not. Not for the, not for a single pawn anyway. All right, well. Did you have to restart? No, this is the second part of the Archonexus. Just how Archonexus work. You you sell your first colony. And your second colony, actually. Alright, well, there's a little defense down there. Next time we have raiders. Yeah, just how the Archonexus ending works. You just keep selling your colony. Are Archonexus restarts a wall? I'm beginning to think so, yes. Beginning to think so. Uh, we won't be working there that long, it's fine. Cheerful music. I have a guide on staying lower on wealth. Exhalation wealth, yeah. I was staying below the medium and high expectation break point. Yeah, exhalation wealth goes over like what is and isn't wealth and a couple ways to get rid of it, yeah. Uh, I've typed that. It's, it's a little bit of an older guy, but still, stuff is still true in it. So. The run die? No. This is the second part of the Archonexus. <laughs> was I always so concerned about mods? No. No, uh, one of the big reasons why I don't use a lot of mods is for business reasons. Business reasons. Is wealth a wall? Yes. Also a door. It's both a door and a wall. Turns out. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if you watch that and have any other questions, just let me know. Oh, I didn't know this was a wall. <laughs> What's the wall joke about? So, um, when was that? About nine months or ten months ago, I did a uh, an impossible challenge run where I did a playthrough where, and it's up on YouTube, where we did 5% no pause with no doors, no walls, no rooms. So no walls allowed, no doors allowed, no rooms, just build in the open only, just outdoors always. And I thought I had all my bases covered. I had it in the title, I had commands, I had a timer set up, and the... For whatever reason, the stream was really popular that day. We we had like 15, 1,600 people here and almost like every few people that came in, uh, every like third person was like, wait. And they were making a, a question out of wall. And some of them were serious. Some of them were trolling. But it got to be like a channel joke because people would come in and be like, wait, wait, wait. Aren't you just going to die of toxic fallout because you can't make columns? And I was like, 
A column is not a wall or a door or a room. I can use columns. And then someone else came in and they're like, wait, wait, you're not gonna be able to build roofs. You can't, you can't build roofs without walls. And I was like, I can build roofs. They're not walls, they're not doors. I can build roofs off the side of hills and mountains and off of columns. And I mean, it got to the point where people were coming in and were like, wait, wait, you're not gonna be able to build floors? <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm just done. I'm done reading. Cause I know some of them were trolling but there were so many people that were like and then they were talking about like oh, columns walls or doors and then i got it got to the point where people were also like why don't you just set on a mountain map and just build like dig a kill box and a base and just don't have them be shut in to be actual rooms i'm like that completely circumvents my own challenge why would i do that why would i circumvent my own challenge um so anyway that run is up on youtube in both edited and full length it's the run that i think was I'm the most proud of because I think it's the hardest run you can do or that I've done is the no, uh, no doors, no walls, no rooms, just build in the open, fight in the open. Um, it was really crazy to do, but man, man, that first day was like brutal. Did I finish up my first attempt? I did. Yeah. Maybe the walls that way. Counter to the center of the stream. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll put it on you. Door room. Yes. Playthroughs. I usually do a modded playthrough every like five or six runs. Yeah. Good day on stream. Green light. It was bad but free. So many people complained of the game's cost, for instance. <laughs> we called it the impossible run and then did it on the first try. Yep. Yep. The horseshoe pin a wall. Apparently it is sometimes. All right, so our goal right now is to get um, get research done. That's basically it. Get research done, start getting my drugs in. Uh, yeah, so I, it was with baseliners too. Baseliners, they weren't even god pawns. Like, I had a special um xenotype set up for like try number two i was like all right try number one we're gonna go with baseliners but if it's impossible we'll use this custom godlike xenotype and we didn't need it let's do the baba is you game fun game games that you have considered to be the next main game of the channel not really yeah i ask them to, yeah i don't mind uh ask whatever you want and if i have an answer for it you know i'll answer um yeah not really uh there's a lot of games I don't know what I don't know if anyone anything could take that top viewership position off of Rimworld for the channel can't imagine anything doing that at the moment I should probably build that on the other side or maybe another door but uh yeah who knows maybe someday maybe someday Rimworld 2 will be the next main game yeah <laughs> maybe the year is 2030 a lot of people have been asking me to play um, Against the Storm. Against the Storm is a deceptively uh, complex and brutal game if you want it to be. So I might do some of that on the stream um, this next week or two, like as a split stream game and see what the reception is. But I can't imagine it taking place in RimWorld. I don't like it as much as RimWorld either. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? It depends. African or European? The Storm is fantastic. Yeah, it's deceptively... It can it can be a deceptively complex game. I tried Void. No. Solar flare now. Okay. Uh. Maybe I leave a wooden research bench down for when the... Nah, the solar flares don't last long enough. So I still haven't hit in-game. Any advice? Uh, that's not uncommon at all. As long as you're having fun, that's my big thing, Al. Like, as long as I'm, as you're having fun, like, enjoy the game. Some of the things I miss and remember the most is, like, when I was newer to the game and whatnot and didn't... Wasn't min-max... Didn't know anything, you know? Um, I didn't launch my first ship until I was, like, almost 500 hours in. There are people that have played for literal... Oh, I still have one. 
There are people that have played for literal thousands of hours and still haven't gotten to the credits, and that's fine. Now, if you're, like, trying to get to the credits and you haven't, um, then, yeah, it depends on what you're losing to, what my answer would be. Why do Max work during a solar flare, and why don't we put that kind of tech in our kitchen? It's a good question as well. Let's have an AI stove. That'd be nice. Yeah, I know what those mods are. Yeah, I haven't tried them. The Void Storyteller and the Rick Storyteller. Yeah. Launch your first ship at 1600. Two people in chat both said 1600. I was an animal. Which animal would I be? Uh, I'm going to go with Owl on that one. Yeah, Owl. What kind of Owl? I don't know. One of those cool Owls. Use a huge mountain cave as kill box. Which one was that? I don't remember which one. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I haven't used any of those mods yet. Most of my runs are pretty vanilla. Why not a goat? I think flying would be fun. Stealth flying as an owl. I like owls. The drunk doors are the... Yeah, but I think they're taking an older run. Much older run. I don't know if I'm going to use some of this stuff. We'll just knock it out. Screw it. Inspired by the Cookie Monster will be Coffee Monster. No, no, no. Cookie Monster loves cookies. So I'm guessing Coffee Monster would love coffee. That's not me. I keep track. Yeah, I know. We've done so many. There was someone here the other day that was like, What? Do you think it's actually possible to win? Without using pause, I'm not sure. And I was like, "Yep, <laughs> yeah, it's possible." I've gotten to the credits at least 50 plus times with no pause on 500%. Turns out it's pretty possible. Spawn never sleeps. No, he has the no sleep gene. Why did you use the heat dissipation exploit here? Uh, one is yeah, so that raiders uh wouldn't attack it in the outer walls. So I did that before we even had this extra cubby. Um, yeah, that's all. That's the only reason. This also allows us to, like, you know, repair them right next to it easily and stuff. It's yeah, no reason not to. But you're cheating. 5x only speedrun. I see the chat from YouTube. Yes. I only see Twitch chat. No. I'm talking to both. It's just that YouTube is delayed, so you're going to... Get a reply from me later on YouTube. I found a mountain. Would you take Tundler or would it be better not to? Uh, if you build half in and half out, Tundler is still Tundler is actually good on a flat map. So as long as they're indoors mostly, like roofed areas or whatnot, even if it's outside, you know, or out of a mountain, they're still good. They get extra yield. Uh, Nutrifungus is incredible because it needs no electricity at all. It doesn't need light. It doesn't need. If you're on a year-long growing, it doesn't need heat. You can roof it. Like, it doesn't get blight. Neutrofungus is really good. But I think Tumblr is a very good um, ideology, even on flat map. Is this a new start? No, it is not. It's the second part of the Ark of Nexus. But yeah, I think Tumblr is fine for a half and a half. I just got to be mindful of trying to make sure they're indoors as often as you can. Or as much as, as much as you can. Is it possible to be to win the game without being asked if something is a wall or not? Uh, it used to be, but... As about as of about ten months ago, it's no longer possible. No. Yeah. Have yeah, a map picked out. Yeah, it should go fine. It's just, and it's okay for them to go out occasionally. You just don't want the huge mood hit for a long period of time, right? But I, I think Tumblr is very good on it, on any pretty much any map because Nutrifungus is so good, and they get extra yield from mining, which is always nice, you know. Lots of bonuses with Tumblr. Don't think I've done a stream. Not since that run. Yeah. Next run is mixed ideology. Next run is single phase. So I feel like there's going to be a RimWorld DLC sometime in quarter one of next year. I'm hoping. I don't know anything. And so I'm going to do some of the biotech themed runs that I haven't done. Try to get them, get them in before anything like that comes out. So the next one's going to be a single phase run. I think I'm going to do single phase ranchers. So single phase do not eat crops. 
Any news from the devs about new DLC? Nope, nothing new. Do you need to do research again on every step of the Arc Nexus? Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you, hamsters. Uh, we'll need it. That's like a cool run. Yeah, it should be very thematic. The single phase is ranching people. Animals and people. Yeah, it'll be both. What's the plan for the colony now? The plan right now is to get research done again. Get research done again. And then after that, um, outer wall. We need to get to double scorcher. Outer wall. Burn box. And then to Lancers. Now we're just getting our research done, though. Getting research done while wealth is still low. Whoa, Pepsi! Is Pepsi okay? Are you gonna solo this cluster? If they don't hit Pepsi... Oh. <laughs> well, that... That's unfortunate. I it, it was close. It was close. Mods on 5% no pause. Yeah, like I said, I also do modded runs maybe every 5 or 6. So it's possible that I do some of those. Like, we did the Zombie Land overhaul mod probably 2 or 3 playthroughs ago, you know. So I do something like that every every 4 or 5. So we might get around to some of those. Pepsi is dead. Coke better confirmed. You know what's better? Brand risk. Exclamation drink. We didn't use killbox in the la in the first base. This one we will use one. Oh my god. Give me gold. I ended up not using I used a burn box, but I ended up kiting everything else. Have we got news yet? Your samples, or did you order some? Yeah, I wonder if they got lost, because I think everyone's pretty much gotten theirs. Pepsi did their best. Best. Uh, we don't need that. We need that. Well, the next DLC could be... Um, I've talked about it pretty often, so there's quite a few things to think about, and who knows, other than the developers. But there's a couple things to think about. One is Tynan, his vision for his game is that it is a natural story generator. So what are the things, situations that could be added to the game that are in there already or expanded on that would add for storylines, right? Natural storylines. So that's the one thing we can think of. The second thing is, what are some things that didn't get completed in the Kickstarter? What are some stretch goals that they still haven't completely went back and redone from the Kickstarter? Uh, one of those, for anyone that doesn't want to go what or go look, is archaeology. There was a... Um, there was a... It was going to be an expansion of the base game, RimWorld Archaeology. Now, some of that are the, uh, like, ancient dangers and complexes, but there was more to it that they didn't reach with their goals. So I wouldn't doubt if some of that stuff is going to be in a future DLC. But aside from those two things, yeah, who knows? Those are our, those are our biggest leads, I guess. They also did hire a multiplayer um, developer, so we could get official multiplayer. He was arrived in the UK a week after the promo. Rib World. Museum tiles are in Vienna Rim to sell looted items to. I really want the world map and... Um... World map and factions and relationships. All that stuff rehauled. That'd be nice. Rim World and Waifu. <laughs> There's a mod for that. Always the answer. Guy, you monster to hunt. Uh, yeah. We'll see, though. I think the thing I would be most... There's two things I'd be most surprised about. The first one would be Rimworld 2. If they announced that instead, that would be the most shocking one. The second one I'd be most shocked about would be... We've rehauled the entire code of the game to make it... Yeah, <laughs> multi-core and... Better optimized. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but... Map interaction at this point? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really nice. More reason, more positive reasons to go out on the map. Action bases where they attack each other too. Yeah, I really like... I'm sure other people have had the same idea. But my favorite idea that I've had for an expansion is probably eras or ages or something like that. Where one of the major factors of it is that there is like... Um, governments, groups of, of factions. 
and you have a shared research and maybe the world has a shared research or something uh so you're in eras longer you know and you you age up kind of like in civilization or age of empires or lots of games do it that'd be really cool in RimWorld. definitely on my wish list also like water stuff you know water stuff would be nice what kind of water stuff like fishing and boats and ocean tiles where you get attacked by the sea from the sea i should say or by the sea you know does any rewrites see like bosses i really thought that biotech was going to add like a mechanator boss or something at the end that would have been nice but no ending no ending from it something you know I would be really surprised with Z levels too. The game is not built for Z levels at all. So I'd be really, really shocked by that one too. Natural disasters, aside from just the like tornado. What tsunamis? Uh, for anyone that doesn't know the t tornado generator, back in the early game, tornadoes could just spawn and you couldn't do anything about it. So just like real life. I remember early on, probably like um, one of the last beta branches, like beta 18 or something like that. I was playing and a tornado spawned in the kitchen. Like this was the kitchen, tornado spawned here and just went right across the base, destroyed everything and killed a bunch of people. And I was like, I, I guess I should have played better. <laughs> really nice other than rivers, really can't do anything with water. Yeah, just power, just some power from it. Yeah. What were they cooking? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of blender was that? The new ninja. Skill issue, of course. Should have played better. Oh, I can't believe we have to redo all this research for one person. Any blacks who died of lightning? Yeah. Had lots lots of turmoil through the thousands of hours. Have a base on water tile would be cool too, yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Tornadoes are story generators. <laughs> Got me there. Cooking up a storm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you guys thinking the same thing? Cooking up a storm. Uh, all right, we are good on flake now. All right, cool. Now, we go back into assignments. There we go. We'll have more biomes and map types. That would be kind of cool too. Yeah. You just told us the story. Add underwater tiles. Yeah, I'd be surprised by that too. But yeah, like with a with some kind of um, um, water type expansion going out to like crashed ships and stuff, treasures that would be pretty cool. Hoarding views. That's right. Let's go on left floor. Have tellers who don't mind who main meats or bug meat makes it easy to feed them. Yeah. Heavy rain flooding bases. Ouch, that would suck, yeah. <laughs> that would suck. More natural disasters, then. I mean, if they give you tools to prevent it, right? Or to help you through it. That's one thing. Ugh. Water base with ship combat. Three hours in for the day already? Yeah, yeah, time's flying. Time's flying while you sit in a shack researching volcanoes so when it says a distant volcano erupted for volcan volcanic um winter instead you could be on a tile with the volcano i think you'd just be gone <laughs> your geologist will let you know that in seven days this is probably gonna erupt you need to move tiles well should have played better played better i guess Maybe I'll play better next time. Volcanic summer. Hey, what are you doing with those uh, toxic waste packs, huh? This is the area for it, right? Okay. Akabidi. Yeah. All right.
Maybe I'll play better next time. Sound clip. <laughs> Should have played better. Pompeii's little bit. What a roll of dry land is not a myth. You've seen it. Smoke leaf is currency. Smoke leaf and dirt. Oh no, the smokers are here. This time they have like minus 30% consciousness, so they're easy. How to manipulate natural tornadoes to make a kill box out of them. I would absolutely try to figure things like that out, yeah. Like I weaponized lightning. The last run die. Nope, this is the same run. This is part two of the Architexus. Thank you, flawed one. You have that on copy and paste. <laughs> Zidian summoned a triple granny in the downtime. All right, Zidian, let's see what she's got. I'm out of F bombs. <laughs> That's very old fashioned. When he got married, he had me name his wife. That's an old pickle. Wow. Granny just dropping the <laughs> bombs. Adam, did you really say a bad word there? No, I said. Wait, wait, what'd you say? Uh, duck, duck. I, I don't think I've told this story in a long time. I can very clearly remember one of my cousins. He's he's three years younger than me. I was probably eight. He was probably five, somewhere around there. Maybe seven and four, whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, my cousin and I were, were doing something behind my grandmother's house, playing, I don't know, whatever. And his dad came around the corner and uh, told him, like, he better not do something or whatever, that he was going to get in trouble. And my cousin and all of his four-year-old, or maybe younger, I don't know, three, four, five, something like that, brilliance, thought to himself, you know what? I'm not supposed... I'm going to get in trouble if I cuss, but... Because I'm not allowed to. But if I'm not cussing technically, then I can't get in trouble. And I remember he turned to my, toward my uncle and said, duck, you ditch. And my... He got in a lot of trouble. We'll just put it that way. I got to raid. He thought he was real clever. <laughs> it's like... I can remember him crying and be like, what? I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. <laughs> My cousin Aaron. I wonder if he remembers that. Oh, yeah, actually, so much better without the helmet. Plus five accuracy, nice. You guys all melee too, yeah. A lower Randy roll, it looks like. Oh, nice. Headshot there. Whoa, whoa, get, get out of the range of that dog. Oh, nice hit. Yeah, he thought he was really clever. He thought he found a loophole. Last run die? Nope. This is the same run. Thank you, Flawedwood. <laughs> Cause he's not wrong, though. He, he ducked around and found out. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin ducked around and found out. That sniper's earned his weight in gold. Yeah, absolutely. I was just trying to warn you about the niche, daddy. A god making base to the biotech extension. You're worried. Your god pawns are too weak. You have a run where you were creating gods through xenogerms. Uh, the bow only run. Yeah, the bowly run, we didn't start with any uh, genes, but by the end of it, we had crazy good genes. My advice is go out and trade. There are all kinds of gene packs that you can go trade for. Um, places sell them all the time, and sometimes you can get really lucky and get a crazy overpowered pack package of them where you don't even need as much um, uh, storage for it because they're already a set. So I would say if you're trying to build a crazy gene pack, not, don't only extract genes, Go out to and with someone and trade at settlements. You can get all kinds of like archite genes that way. You can get some really, really good stuff. Highly recommend going out and, and looking for genes to trade. Same thing works over the internet. <laughs> Before we come running into the room where your mom, you were all shocked, surprised, proud of his discovery. 
Oh my god, if you play with it, it gets bigger. What a discovery. Jeez. Uh, if you make bots to haul animals, which one gives you more wealth? I think bots over... I, I I don't know, actually. I haven't I haven't compared the two one for one. That's a good question. For like a normal run. And this one, we're not using animals for that, but I should check that out. We're up and made the autocorrect for the smartphone. <laughs> A new brawler and then dump extremely strong melee into him. All the extra. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But sometimes you just get really lucky. I tried Battle Brothers. I played Battle Brothers a little bit uh, back when it was relatively new. Battle Brothers is good. It's a very brutal game. For anyone that doesn't know, Battle Brothers is a tactics game. Squad based tactics. Um, turn based, turn based tactics game. It's very brutal. Oddly, one of the things that... I'm not usually someone that's like... I need my games to have really good graphics. There's a lot of games that have not good graphics that I love. But one of the things that put me off to trying Battle Brothers for a little bit... Is I really don't like the... We'll just call them pawns. The character... Uh, style that they went with. I don't like them very much. But I did end up playing it. And it is a really good, but very brutal game. Very brutal. We're making a new one based in the future called Minus. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Uh, I can't believe we have to sit here and get this research again. It's the worst part of this. And I don't, I don't really want to expand until we get the research done. It's a great tactical game. It's, it, it is, but yeah, like I said, it is very brutal. Let's go ahead and run these. We need to get uh, friendly with the pigs. Does anything change for map plays, or is it just standard rimworld three times? It's just standard rimworld three times, aside from researching the the Arco Tech item. But once you once you research the Arco Tech building that, that you get the map for, it's the same after that. Yep. Yeah. It's announced the Game Awards. Yeah, I still went and looked at all the announcements from it. I need to do that. I looked at a few of them, like the God of War free DLC plus thirty seven. Okay. If you play it, don't get attached to any pawns. Yeah, for sure. Daniel, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks for the content. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for the support. Thanks for answering your question. Yeah, I try to answer everything I can. It's a little harder with the with the dual um with the dual stream and not having a great thing set up for chat in that regard yet, but trying to get um more and more used to it. But yeah, thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Slaver from the pigs. I don't think slavers sell gold. I, I know they don't. I'm not sure why I'm even looking at what they have. And we are getting... ranked over the coals here with this... Uh, minus eight social. I don't find a monitor. I really like this monitor. Yeah, I really do like it. I, I think I'll definitely stay with this one until maybe someday when like o OLED monitors get cheaper and more popular and more variety of them, which is starting to happen. I might switch to that because some games in OLED like uh, like God of War, really, really pretty games in that. But I really like this monitor. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I actually went through like three or four monitors, trying them and returning them before I settled on this one. So I do like this one quite a lot. Any tips on getting your melee only pawns away from exploding turrets? Trying to melee only just keep getting shredded. You have to start spam clicking away the moment that it starts um, doing the fuse. They can get away and it has to be a direct line and there can't be anything there to slow them. They can get away from it, but you have to like spam click as soon as the fuse starts fizzling, which can be hard sometimes because you can have multiple melee that are um in different cooldown phases of their attack so yeah it is it is pretty rough um if you are doing something like psi casting as well then uh getting ready to use skip can can save you a lot of heartache but yeah just just gotta get used to used to getting out in time jump packs yeah jump packs as well if you have those jump pack is great on melee but yeah, you gotta, as soon as it starts doing the fuse thing, you got to immediately spam people away from that spot. Uh, each person individually in a straight line from wherever they are. 
Try the Arcanexus one day, but it doesn't sound too great. Yeah, I really don't like the Arcanexus as an ending overall. It's, it does. So one of the good thing, I don't like the actual ending, but the actual journey there, you can, you can treat it like um, a new game plus and play a different way on each of the legs if you want, or a different biome. Like our first biome was desert. Now we're on woods. Maybe we'll do jungle for the last one or something. Uh, so you can treat it like that and keep like your five favorite pawns to continue forward. But uh, in general, yeah, I don't, I don't care for it too much. Using fire foam to disable, yeah, that'd be cool to disable the, the explosion. You just use a fire foam pack. Back to lurking. Thank you. Which DLC would you rather recommend, ideology or royalty? Ideology over those two, hundred percent. Uh, so royalty was the first DLC. They had a much smaller team, a much smaller budget. There's royalty has some very good parts in it, but it is very small in comparison to ideology and. In biotech, ideology is the DLC with the most. It's hard to say that now, but when when I play completely vanilla with no DLCs, I miss ideology the most from a min max standpoint. Yeah, ideology is very good. Uh, ideology allows you to make a lot of themed run runs without mods as well, which is nice. Yeah, I highly recommend ideology or royalty. I think I'm in the majority of that. What happens to the other pawns? They become world pawns. So if you have more than five pawns, you choose five to go to the next part, and all the other pawns become world pawns, which means they can come as raiders, they can be traitors, they can you can save them in quests, they can be slaves, they just become world pawns. So one thing I kind of recommend um, is before you sell your colony for the Archonex, if you have more than five pawns, uh, put something on the pawn's name so you can see them very easily in a crowd. One thing I like to do is just make them their names all capitals before I sell it. And that way, if I get a raid and I see an all capital name, I'm like, oh God, there's, you know, there's Minoc. Just grab someone from chat. Try not to kill him. I lost? No, I did not lose. This is the second part of the Archonexus. <laughs> Thank you, Flawed One. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what all their... I guess it depends on which world pawn they are, right? So, if if you get, like, a prison quest, they're not going to come with a, a rifle or something, but... Clothing-wise, though, yeah, I think so. I remember on the last Arco Nexus, we would have people show up with the, um... Like, the hoods on. Ideology, black hoods. Double strand, flak. Forgot why we're doing the Archonexus. Um, because I'm doing royalty next. The Archonexus ending feels really thematic with the Mechanitor. It also allows me to do a different mech defense setup of each leg of it. You were about to ask about loss? No, yeah. This, this is just the second part. No, yeah. <laughs> no, this is the second part of the Archonexus. It resets all your stuff. So we're just getting research done. And we're waiting. Oh, I need to open the... Ancient danger when there's a big trade here. I should have done that with the slavers. Go ahead and go knock out the sea ice part with the part three. <laughs> probably, probably not. Very carefully and set up your run with your pawn having a bunch of uncles and your goal is to catch all your uncles. It feels like this run. How many endings are there? There's ship launch, which there's... It's the same ending, but you can either build a ship or travel to the ship. Those are kind of the same. Those are the vanilla endings. Royalty has the royal ending where you protect the Stellark and you leave the Count or Countess. And then uh, Ideology has the Archonexus, which is the final ending. So technically, there are three endings. Launch in a ship, launch with a Stellark, or go to the Archonexus. But you can either build or travel to the ship for that first one. You missed a bunch. Yeah. Yesterday was super eventful. Today is just going through the motions so far, honestly. Yesterday was very, very eventful. We we got so close to losing yesterday a bunch of times. There was multiple times where I was thinking, am I going to start this run over if I lose? I wasn't sure what my answer was. How many uncles? We found six, I believe. Which one was our favorite? The one I sold, uh, the little kid uncle that I sold into slavery was my favorite. Oh yeah, that's true. There's an ending where everyone dies. You get the pop-up that's like, everyone's story has ended. <laughs> there's no one around to tell any more stories. I guess that's technically an ending. And then there's the super secret ending where you just... You don't continue your run. 
and you go play other games and you slowly stop playing RimWorlds and the pawns are forever in a frozen limbo. A digital limbo. Along with all those like Sims and their houses that you made long ago. How often can the Man in Black come? 60 days. Man in Black is a 60 day cooldown. See what you did to the least favorite uncle. <laughs> Cried Fog War Mod. No, I was going to try it last year and I... Uh, one of the runs I was going to do before Biotech was announced was um, Silent Raids Fog of War. And I didn't get around to doing it. And then earlier this year, uh, Smurf actually came to me and he's like, Hey, I know you had been planning on doing um, Silent Raids Fog of War for a while. Do you mind if I do it instead? And I was like, you don't have to ask me that. But anyway, he did a run of that. Your Neopets that you abandoned 20 years ago. <laughs> You've seen Wreck-It Ralph. They're active while you're asleep. Ugh. Now you're sad for your previous pawns. I think I'm going to go trade for the gold. Uh, gold and plastic, right? Because it'll make the research faster. Um, we have tin plastic. We could fail the construction. Uh, we probably won't though at this level. The twenty gold, fifty plastic total. So we'll speed this up a bit. We get attacked while we're gone. Oh well, I guess. Um. Take the charge rifle with us. Don't want to lose that. No black, no rage. Living their best life in the rim, maybe. Maybe. Best part was was use every raid happen at the same time. Oh man, we had like six or seven events in the same day. Just everything and lots of different types. Lurkin, thank you, thank you. Uh, Cree, thank you for the four months. Cree, very much appreciated. Oh, Cree, it's not even what my name is. I know, but that's what I'm reading it as. Oh man, oh man. You guys got loose for yourself? No. Twenty gold. Forty plasteel. Um. We can carry it all back if we sell the horse. I just had to, I'd have to train a new horse, but I mean, we need it. Say, say Jaffa Cree, I did, yeah. The verse is my middle name. No. No. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. That horse trusted you. Watch the light. I thought I had it cut. Yeah, it's cut. Go on, Twitch Cop. Twitch Cop is back. Uh, Eslon, thank you for the 17 months. Not quite a year, but it's almost, almost full count of you. Eslon, so much appreciated. Welcome back, 17 months. I did say Jafar Kree. Event could reset, gives you an idea. We cheesed the man in black in this yesterday, or the day before, yeah. We did a surgery every 60 days that spawned a man in black. Don't sell only male horse. I have to to get this uh, gold and stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to go back. So it'll be fine. We get another one. Probably in the new year. Yeah, I'll probably do the hair stuff in the new year. 
Jackson the poor. Sorry, Jackson, I'm not going to betray you today. There we go. Research speed plus 10%. All right. Now we wait. Mark, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Mark. A lot of content you've been watching and unhealthy amounts. <laughs> Uh, you like when you almost lose the runs? Oh man, yeah, yesterday, you you must have really liked yesterday's VOD then. Probably have some scary times in this one too. Right now we're just trying to get back to being able to produce the things that we had previously, right? But, uh, thank you, Mark. That's very kind of you. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, yesterday was, uh, scary. I really was thinking yesterday, I was like, man, if I lose this, I don't think I'm gonna redo the run. At least not the Arco Nexus. Um, I'm not going to make any of that. I might use that. Nope. Sonic, thank you. Flawed one. There you go. Part two of the Arcanex. Almost losing all times. You think you have learned from your mistakes or treating Huntsman with respect? Maybe it was because I didn't make him a royal. Like, I, I psyched him out. I named him king, but I didn't make him. I named him king, but didn't make him a king. So maybe next time I need to keep him on board, change the throne room over to, to him. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Not like this. <laughs> uh, any pawn named Viper into raid bait? It's also the case. Smurf's going to start treating Vipers that way. Well, I know this Viper Pond sucks, but I want to remind Adam of, of the time when he ruined his run. It's like you sell everything and move to a different tile. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you reset your research. Mechanator gets ag extra screwed because he doesn't start with his mechs anymore. He doesn't start with basic mech tech research. It's like... Vod streams, I'll play your worlds. Yeah, it's awesome, yeah. Like, the two honor setup is perfect for that. Play RimWorld and then have RimWorld running on the second one. You can learn both when you're playing and watching. Need to do all the research again after the colony? Yes, it resets you to uh, basically crash landed research. Pretty much. I don't know that we're going to use this, but whatever. We're just kind of sitting here waiting for a trade group at the moment so we can open. I don't even know if I'm going to open Ancient Danger. Why do you lose research? It must have been written down. At the old base, we sold the books with all the blueprints to them. But you said wealth isn't, or research isn't wealth. It's not. To save my colony? No, we lost because of Viper. Yeah. Viper did not save the colony at all. We would have won. That was like, that was like 150,000 wealth worth of uh, humans that we were about to process. And they all left the Viper. Not a single one of them. Got processed. Uh, Drizawa. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for the super chat also. How much for a super chat for you to name colonizers after chatters? Well, that's not how I name colonists. <laughs> and in this one, I only have one colonist. So I don't have anyone to name anyway. But I'll I'll see if there's anything I can set up to where you two people can get into the queue as well for colonist names. Right now, the only way to do it is through the Twitch channel points, which channel points are a free thing, but you have to actually have stream running on on twitch to, to gain channel points i'll see if there's any way i can i don't know if there's a system like that bots that can talk to each other between the two more things i gotta try to figure out with uh with this dual streaming uh but thank you i still appreciate it give up on a run never yeah i know i would have probably just launched the ship instead goosey Goosey, thank you for the brand new Twitch, Twitch, Twitch Prime. Uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime. You're using that here. Why well, that counts the same as a tier one sub, I've been told. Uh, thank you. Um, so we're gonna have to call the Diabolus again. Ugh. And that's how we get our Scorchers. Uh, double lurking. Thank you. Double lurking. Twitch Prune. Did I bring the chips? Uh, I 
I used most of the chips before I came, so the only one I have is the power focus. So. Attacking immediately. Attacking immediately in the rain. Charge rifle. How many are there this time? Uh, a little bit smaller roll than last time. Oh, the extra accuracy with taking that helmet off is nice. You guys all melee too? Yeah, perfect. Back to early game. Early game with a charge rifle and a sniper. But early game nonetheless. Uh, okay. Off my lawn. All right, have we go. I need to do the mech. Early mission bosses again as well. Yep. Yep. Uh, and we're planning on using actual combat mechs this time when we get to them, other than just a couple of scorchers. So I'm going to need to get to the point where I can produce a bunch of lancers and probably at least two scythers. New corpse to 200 trip paces hopper. Will it work or do you still need to butcher? Um, it doesn't. L you can cheese it, yeah. I think it still works. So you can cheese things to where you can dump things in the hopper that normally wouldn't go through, like a corpse. Um,. Or like kibble or meals. You have to cheese it for them to drop it on that spot. But I think all that still works. Yeah, I haven't done it in forever, but I think it still works. What mods would you recommend for a casual world domination playthrough? I'm not sure, yeah. I've never I I would say look for things that make enemy bases more interesting, first off. I think there's quite a few mods like that. I don't remember the names of them offhand. One of the really boring things about a world conquest thing is that it gets it's very repetitive and the bases the enemies have in vanilla or even with the DLCs are just nothing like it's a couple wooden hut huts with uh, like 20 beds and occasionally a turret or two. That's basically it. So once you get to the point where you can just steamroll those, it's just like going through the motions over and over and it gets uh, it gets pretty stale in my opinion. So things that would either make Enemy bases more interesting, or enemies themselves more interesting, just to just to make it more challenging, more interesting as you go along. All settlements are like crappy little outposts. Yeah, at least you didn't burn your lawn. It's true. Well, traps are back up. Be nice if that's addressed the next DLC. Yeah, that's one of the things I mean by like make the world more interesting, you know. That alone would be nice. How to get the gold for multi analyzer? I went and traded some of my drugs for it. But yeah, it takes forever, yeah. Yeah, I remember warning that like and that was like six years ago. Six years ago. Good start to get a lot of chunks. Call them from a get a lot of chunks. Um, I mean, if you run out of chunks on your map and you're on like a flat map and don't have a lot to mine, then your real option is the deep drill. If you get the deep drill and you put it over something that you haven't scanned resources under, it'll just continuously pull up stone chunks from that from that spot. Uh, so I'd be surprised if you run your map out of stone chunks before you can get to drills. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't imagine that. But if you did, you could always go caravan, you know, with a, you need a lot of hauling weight. But yeah, just getting to deep drills and putting them down. Uh, deep drill infestations are nothing to be scared of because they, they cap out very small. At the most, you're going to have like eight bugs or something. No matter your like even at 500 percent, it doesn't it doesn't scale with wealth. Um, I should say it doesn't scale very high with raid points. So, yeah, I would say just deep drill for them once you uh, have ran out 
stuff close by, you know? How long am I streaming roll today? I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Not sure yet. Honestly, to be completely honest. The last Mechantor run die. Nope, this is the same one. An observer? When did, why, when and why did I decide to switch the royalty ending? So, people were asking me what my next run was going to be. My next run is going to be a vampire run. So, very thematic to this vampire, the single phage. And I think the most thematic for that would be a royalty ending for the vampires. And so, I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do two royalty endings in a row. And the royalty ending really doesn't match this theme anyway. And then I was like, oh, God, you know which one really matches? He wants to be w with one with the machine hive, with the Arco Nexus. So and people were like, yeah, do that. That's really, it really fits it. And so I was like, all right, maybe I'll do it. I don't know what I've gotten myself into, but. How's the name of the color mod for the Silver Ore? It is uh, Colorblind Minerals. Colorblind Minerals. Any announcements for new DLC? Not yet. It'd be challenging to play on hard, randy, random, world donation on vanilla. I don't think so. I mean, I guess it depends on your experience level, right? So, difficulty, things being hard are very personal things. So for some people, that would be impossible, right? Because they just don't have enough knowledge of the game yet or experience of the game. But I think it would be pretty, pretty easy. Easy and dull. Solo vampire? Not solo vampire, no. I'm going to do vampire ranchers, I believe. Vampires, it's Christmas time. That's right. How do you think Santa lives forever? He's a vampire that lives off the blood of naughty little boys and girls. But I thought he ate cookies. It's all a ruse, hybrid germ. It's all a ruse. Santa is a vampire. The Vampire Valley Ranchers. That was like a sports team or something. For game you play... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm glad you think so. Um, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like talking about it much because it sounds conceited and I'm not very like conceited type of person, but people do ask that sometimes like, Adam, how do you get good at all these different games when you play them? I mean, a lot of it's just experience. I've been playing video games like every day since I was like three or four years old. Right. And lots of various genres and whatnot. But another thing about it, I think is just a lot of it honestly is like attitude related. My whole life, I felt like I could be good at anything if I wanted to be good at it. Like, if I wanted to be good at it, I could make myself good at it. I could spend the time, I could do the work, and I could get good at it, no matter what it was. And that's what I did. I did it for other things other than... I'm not, like, naturally good at everything, but if there's something I want to be good at, I feel like I can do it. And I've, I've, I've just... I don't know, I just had that attitude ever since I was, like, a small child, so... Positive mental attitude, yeah. And it translates into these things, right? So, I... A lot of the games I play, I enjoy trying to get better at the game. That's just what I have fun with. I mean, like I tell people, whatever you have fun with games, one of the things I liked is, like, depending on the type of game, is just really learning the ins and outs and getting getting better at it. It's just fun. The, seeing, seeing the progress is fun for me. And so, I, I just... Yeah, I feel that way. Well, it doesn't sound conceited. I don't mean it that way. It's just something I've always, always had. If you believe you can become good at looking, you become good looking. <laughs> <laughs> what is that old quote? What the crap? <laughs> is the answer? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Any specific reason why all the doors in the base are wood and not stone? They open way faster. Wood opens very, very quickly. Later on, we'll switch it over to things like Plasteel. That's going to be much later. I feel over like Civilization 6. Yeah, I've played Civilization 6. Not a whole lot. Maybe like 100 hours. So probably the least played Civilization that I've ever played. But I do like Civ 6. I think it's gotten a lot better with all the DLCs. Civ 6 has this thing I've talked about before. Or not Civ 6. Civilization, where when a new Civilization comes out, it feels terrible. And it's always like the previous version is way better. And then they do some patches, they add a couple DLCs, and then it feels really good. Better than the previous ones. And I've had that ever since, like, 4. I remember I played 4 a lot. 5 came out, and I played it, and I was like, oh my god, why would I play this? Why would I play this over 4? 4 is so much better than 5. And then 5 had some updates, some some DLC, got really good, and the same thing happened with 6, and I imagine the same thing is going to happen when 7 comes out. What is the pawn xenotype called? It's a custom xenotype called Mechanator. Solo mech, solo mech. 
Sim always takes a couple iterations. Yeah, yeah. Teething, yeah. Wait, there's this ad where they just scream? What is that? What is that ad? Ugh. Streamers that have the same... Oh, God. Uh, no, I don't want to open it. Never mind. You notice that... Um, tend to try not to get angry. Yeah. With people that are trying to, like, get better at strategy games. Yeah. The Endless series. Oh, God. I played those less. Those are pretty good, too. Another game that I actually find really fun that's in that 4X Civilization category is uh, Humankind. Humankind is, is really good. I never hear it talked about. I've actually played Humankind, I think, more than Civ 6. Old World is also really good. Uh, Old World is a little bit more niche, I would say. But I really like Humankind. Humankind, a playthrough, feels like multiple Civilization playthroughs as far as, like, what you do. Yeah, but like Endless Legend and things like that, I haven't played them enough to really give a huge recommendation either way of how I feel with them. But. Shame Emerald isn't multiplayer. There are some really, um, apparently, some really good multiplayer mods that keep improving. So there are ways to play multiplayer, but it does require mods at the moment. Came out with quite a few in-game issues. Yeah, it's kind of like Civilization. It's in a better spot. Stormgate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen, Stormgate is back well on Kickstarter. And they reached a, like a million dollars in funding within the first day. Crazy. Their goal was 100000 and it hit it within 15 minutes. I backed it. I really hope it's good. I really... I hope every game is good, but I really hope Stormgate is good. I kind of wish I had the uh, the money to get a character named after me, but there's no way. That's that's way too, way too much. Uh, we're just gonna shut the doors. I should have put an extra door there. Oh well. It's it's not worth it at all. Maybe if I was like rich or something. I'm not saying that like, hey, put in a crowdfunding effort to get a unit named after you. No 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 no. Please please don't think of doing anything like that. Been ladder matches of Stormgate up. Yeah, there's actually been like a alpha, beta, private one for a while. There's also um, a show match tomorrow that uh, Artosis and Tasteless, Tastosis are are casting. Uh, it's an RTS, yeah, like StarCraft. It looks more like Warhammer Three, honestly, because there's like hero units and abilities. I don't like Warcraft 3 as much as a as a competitive multiplayer game as StarCraft 1 and 2. But it does seem, from what I've seen, that it leans a little bit... It's like, between the two. <laughs> Your wallet doesn't, isn't liking me. <laughs> Stormgate will... Um, yeah. I, I hope it's good. For anyone that doesn't know, Stormgate... I've been following it ever since Frost Giant first announced that they were becoming a company. Like, I think I won one of their first followers on Twitter. It's not Twitter anymore. Anyway, but it's, um, the, the four people that are at the lead there are people that made Diablo 2, StarCraft, or Brood War, uh, Warhammer 2 and 3. Like, they got, they got a lot of the, the really good Blizzard stuff, right? I'm just gonna take the three. I don't care. Yeah, it's each their own, right? Some people like the hero unit and like creep farming stuff of Warcraft 3 much better than Starcraft. So it's not, it's better or worse, just personal preference, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it kind of straddles the two a little bit. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. Me versus Spiffing Brit in Rimworld multiplayer. <laughs> um, I, I don't imagine someone like it. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think he knows that much about RimWorlds. I don't mean that in a negative way. So uh, based on what I see in his videos. Like the recent one that was something like... It was the exploit to get the Neuroformers from the Empire that people have been doing since Royalty came out in 1.1. <laughs> and Like this new exploit. It's like... Yeah. New exploit, yep. I think I know more cheese and exploits in the game that he knows for this one. 
Yeah, I mean, he has people that are, like, feeding him the information and the stuff to make videos for, of course. Good video maker, but yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think it would be much competition in a, in a game. Be a fun video, though. I'm sure. And having to redo this research sucks. I just want to get to the point where we can use the, the new stuff, like the new mechs and stuff, and we just have to get through a bunch of stuff. Get there. Uh, inspire creativity. Do we have any cotton yet? Yeah, we do. Finally get a flag this. Get a bunch of content creators together and just have a bunch of shenanigans going. Yeah, I think things like that would be fun, but like an actual competitive thing, I don't think you would... Super great. Excellent. Okay. Challenge issued. Challenge issued. All right. Now, hopefully, we'll survive a little bit better. I can't believe we got brain damage yesterday in this run. Maybe it wasn't fully gone. Maybe that's why our trade prices was, like, crazy. It's the 4x speed button, it's part of the no pause mod. There are other mods that add it. Mine is no pause replaces pause with the 4x button. You can also get pause or uh. 4x with the developer mode it just doesn't show the icon and there's also mods like smart speed i think is the one that people usually say where you can get the 4x button without having the no pause so whatever's going on with the indoor ac units not considered an exploit sure it might it probably is an exploit it's an unintended game mechanic i assume so i think yeah it would be an exploit but i'm i'm doing all kinds of exploits during this run so Doors have always been a really weird thing in RimWorld because they count, like temperature in RimWorld in general is very basic and doors have always, um, always had really bizarre properties. Let me kill this bear before it becomes a problem and I'll, I'll talk about something that used to be possible back in, oh my, nice shot. In the early days, it's not anymore. So a long time ago, I, I think you can probably still find old videos of this on YouTube unless people have taken them down. A long time ago, you could make a structure. Uh, let me make sure no one can go over here. Work, work, okay. So a long time ago, you could make something like, like this. All right, and then You can make a structure like this. This has been changed. This is like 1.0. You hold open all of these doors on the outside, all of them, and it tries to pass temperature from one door to the other. It super, it goes around and super cools and it would freeze this room with no electricity. It would get super cold. There's something weird. It would like suck the, the temperature, the heat out of all these doors and go around in a circle and you can still access it through these other two doors and it would super free this room. It doesn't exist anymore, but that's just a, to show like there's some really friggin' weird stuff in RimWorld with temperature and doors. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what kind of coding mistake caused something weird like that. I don't know who found it or how they found it, but there's, um, there's old videos on YouTube from like 1.0 days of this and it's very, very weird. You can still do some things kind of like that with this this exploit, but it's not as crazy as it used to be. You can make a permanently cooking burn box similar to that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something to do with doors and temperatures and how they retain temperature and delete certain things. Yeah, it's weird. I need Einstein to go back and <laughs> study the door theory. Hard door cool accelerator. Right. That's right. Uh, we want to get a comms console down. Yeah, very, very bizarre things. Yeah, I don't know how or who found that one, right? Smurf and I and some other people that Smurf and I talked to uh, have found some really weird stuff and by accident. One of the strategies I'm going to use this time is something I found by accident. Probably. 
a year and a half ago. And when I found it, Smurf was like, you really need to make a guide on that before someone else makes it. Because I've never seen that happen. It's just something I stumbled across. And I'm going to make a short guide on it. And then I'm going to use it in this run. I haven't used it. It's very powerful. I haven't used it since then. It's three. Thank you. Same run. This is the same run, yeah. Part two of the Ark Nexus. Have a food. Enjoy your food. C8. Interior, step two. Make a lot of doors. Step three. You haven't seen anyone else use it or even speculate about it. It's very strong, yeah. What time should you have? Did you going by? I'm not sure. What are you thinking? Are you thinking like six or what? So now we can call in pigs. We have another one of those mech clusters or whatever. Going to do quests for tech friends, for example. Just research. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. Like re research inspirations would be kind of neat too. Like yeah. Eureka moments. Six is fine. Like again, going to civilization. Civilization six has these Eureka things where like if you if you complete certain things, you get credit towards a research to make it faster. So that'd be kind of kind of neat, you know? Like smelting an assault rifle maybe gives you some research points towards assault rifle or something. It's like, oh yeah, check out the rifling on this. Oh yeah, I noticed this. Yeah, stuff like that'd be kind of cool. I wonder if there's a mod like that. Uh, Garrett, it's 28 months. How is it that long? <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Eight months. Thank you, Garrett. There is a mod like that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be nice. Research Reinvented has stuff like that. There's, al there's always a mod for that. Always a mod. All right, uh, so we can now use the pig call-ins to get to Scorchers. And that will allow us to get a little burn box. And then from there, uh, hang on. I always forgot, uh, Scythers are at high mech tech. Well, I think we actually have the power focus chip, right? Yeah, so. So we can go straight to Scythers or uh, Lancers after that too. All right. Uh, any research that we want to we want to get bionic replacement just in case we need to replace the body part. We need to get to the the medical bot again for sure. Um. Yeah, I think we're pretty much decent on research now. Like we have everything that we could possibly need in the in the close future, aside from the extra mech researches. Make. Sid Meier's Colonization. That was your favorite game. Does the second part of the run reset relations? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool for him to put more, more of those kind of things to the mods, yeah. Well, this has been really chill since we got to the second part. Today is like night and day from yesterday. Night and day from yesterday. Yesterday was super... Super difficult. One of the roughest days of RimWorld. I guess I might as well just have him. You know what? We can get pulse charge munitions, and if he gets an inspiration, maybe we get a better charge rifle later on. But I think I'm gonna uh, get the Diabolus kill. We'll call in the pigs. Skills and body parts, sure. There's the bio. You can always pause or, or clip it if you want. There's the health at the moment. Yeah, all the all the the health stuff is healed now, so maybe our social will be a little bit better. Maybe we won't have to spend whatever astronomical amount on flake. We shouldn't have to buy flake anymore anyway. Yeah, the tech um, persona to automatically researcher. Yeah, those are always nice. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen luciferium. Um, when is this reset? Already reset. Okay. Do the Diabolus. Oh, you made a clip of it? Thank you. There you go. There's a clip. Uh, let's wait until the rain's done. Wait until the rain's done and it's daylight and we'll t call in the uh, Diabolus. Yeah, I don't think there's any mods in here at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, no. Uh... 
Akimedia, unrestrict, unrestrict. I don't want that here right now. <laughs> Refugee, you're helping is about to have a baby. What's going to happen there? I don't know if they ever fixed it. Did they fix it? Used to, if um, visiting colonists had babies, they would just leave them. Mod slacking confirmed. But I think I remember there being some kind of patch about that. <laughs> you'd have you'd have refugees show up or like traders that were pregnant have a baby and then just be like, well, guess she's your problem now and leave the map. <laughs> There we go. Get all that out of there. Keep that away from the base. That was a reason for visiting. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So the Diabolus won't come with these guys here. So we gotta wait. We shall. I'm gonna move these. Because we have a raid that actually gets in here and starts destroying stuff. Do not want to lose those three. The other stuff we can replace. But we're gonna move those. A caravan show up and one of their guys insulted another for his age when insulting him. The other guy punched his head off. They left probably. Yeah. And usually you get like a minus for that too. A member of the faction died. It's like, oh yeah, sorry. It's my fault. Lost all the side casting of the Empire. No. No, you keep that. Whoops. <laughs> Sir, I was just going after the plast deal. Whoops. Same run, same run, yeah. Part two of the Archonexus. All right, Bell, you're in. Bell, you're in. That's right. Bell, you're in. It is. Uh. Yeah, I don't want this foggy rain while we're fighting stuff. Thanks. Where is that corner spot? There is one spot you can shoot big turrets from in the top right, but they can't shoot back. Should be right around here. <laughs> it was so weak already. Wow, that turret took this guy out. Well, almost. We did it. All right. 
Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, the uh, the big turrets, because they are a 2x2, two two, there's no center point in RimWorld for that. And so there's one tile that you can actually snipe them from where they can't shoot back. Only the big turrets, though. Yeah, it's a horrible aim. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it had a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of cover, but yeah, it was, uh, it was not a good showing for them. All right, hopefully tomorrow we'll call on the Diabolus. Oh, we need the Neural Supercharger. Right, we're, um, we're transhumanist. Almost, I did forget. We are transhumanist. Is that the weapon one? Excellent legendary. Oh, it's good. That's right. That's right. I forgot, we don't have an excellent one. That's right. Gun Zeppelin, welcome in. Zeppelin, we sold you along with the old base, so I'm sure they are they brought another Mechanator along, I'm sure of it. You're in, you're in good hands. I'm not worried at all. Any lessons about how to properly treat the mech bots? Let's ask the higher ups like Sky God. A snack refice, if you will. Because we're going to eat them. Sky God, they're not even made out of flesh. <laughs> all right, nice. <laughs> eat all the things, Sky God says. Want not, waste not, etc., etc. All right. Thanks. Uh, we sure are making drugs. What else are we going to do in our little hut? On the Diabolus tomorrow, I guess. There we go. This guy that sounds like Hades. Waste not that which can be nuggies. This is the second Arco map? Yeah. Second map, not a new run. Social still is zero. Ah, uh, yes. No, it's a two now. Oh, uh, okay. So that's another reason why price got a little bit better. Last time we were there. Social has leveled up a little. Um, And now we no longer have a health problem, so... Flake shouldn't be astronomical anymore. Build a friend so you aren't lonely. We want to be lonely, yeah. We're reclusive. That's why we're so happy. All right, um, right, let's call this in. We do not have go juice, though. Psychic Soothe? Good. Call it. All right, where is it? Uh, yeah, we'll just call in the pigs, use them as meat shields. Bacon shields. Requesting immediate military aid for something that I caused. I swear they send more when you're at low raid points than they do later on. Yeah, we're, we have a negative eight because of genes on social, so there's only so much, but yeah, getting a prisoner. We could train social. Play Enter the Gungeon. I love Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon is my favorite bullet hell game. So good. The intro music. Yeah, I love Enter the Gungeon. Last time I saw that the developer was uh, announcing another game, I was like, please be Enter the Gungeon 2. Please. It was not. Ugh. <laughs> 
Oh, frag grenade is actually doing some good work there. Nobody else is about to do some good work. Oh, God, Chomper. Oh. Well, you have to admit, Chomper is brave. Stupid, yes. Stupid, but also brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I meant like a, you know, like an actual Into the Gungeon sequel. Into the Gungeon 2. Not, not as much as a spinoff. What locations do you have to build to complete the Archonexus? Uh, the next map will be the last one. All right. Back up to Scorchers. Thanks, pigs. Which is a fun watch stream. I haven't, I haven't played it in a really long time, but yeah. I used to play it a lot. I don't think I've ever played it on stream. Maybe once, but... Re-into the Gungeon. Really like Gungeon. So much fun. <laughs> Here we go. Standard Mech Tech is back. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Hooray. Cool Games off stream recently. I usually don't have time to play very much. Uh, I have done a couple of against the storm runs to try to remember how to play the game. It's been a long time since I put hours into it. I do plan on playing it a little bit on stream probably the next few weeks. But yeah, aside from that, not really. We're not doing the royalty ending only for like the first few episodes and I changed my mind. We could have done the royalty ending like 12 hours in. And now we're... Uh... Now we are... Over 30 hours in. Almost at 35 hours. I actually get Marine Helmet on him. The developer, Dodge Roll, I've been into Gungeon, yeah. Ah, uh, Chaos Lobster. 20 months. We were talking about lobsters yesterday. We are talking about rock lobsters. No, that was two days ago. help pivot out of the room roll pocket yeah there's, there's a lot of things to think about with those right like it's tough but it's tough because you need a category that gets enough viewership routinely but not too much viewership and doesn't has enough people interested in going and looking at it but not too many people that it's inundated you know like it's it's a tough thing to you're going to lose people either way, switching. God, would you guys stop leaving me gifts? Everyone's just leaving me a gift. Oh, look at this poor guy by himself out in the wilds. Wow, he just, he just lives on concrete. Let's give him something to cheer him up. I know, please don't. Stop giving me things. So I'm putting that there so we can close this against manhunters in the future so I don't waste my traps. Waste pack infestation already. and five. That would mean I would have to kite those and peek and do all that crazy stuff because the traps is not enough for that many. Um, I could have them fight another Diabolus. Or even a War Queen. Which one do we need the most chips from soonest? Um, we already got quite a few of the processors there. Those are the basic chips, though. That's the Diabolus chip, all right? We gotta start getting prisoners and scanning brains, too. If we're gonna go big time into Lancers... Hmm. 
Remote repair would be really good for this. Remote shielder would be good for this. Having him kill the War Queen is probably the best. Three Dialis and three from Queen. Wait, wait. For Lancer? I thought the... They don't use the chips to make the Lancers, right? Oh, you mean the, yeah, the subling of the Jester, okay. I was say, that they just take the brain, brain chips, not the boss mech chips, yeah. Okay, clear all those hives for free. It sounds like you want them. Yeah, I think I'm going to use them. Oh, does the frag grenade one shot without waking the nearby ones up if you throw it from max range or something? Yeah, I think I want to utilize it. Just frag them all away. Yeah. Good to remember, but I feel like we use it in this scenario. Hmm. And mortars, yeah. Just trying to decide which one I want to call in for it. I think the War Queen is harder for us to kite and kill because of all the little bullcrap mechs she spawns, so it might be best to use it against her. Alright, um, I have an 8 minute bounty today that I need to do. It literally expires in like 40 minutes. It's 8 minutes long. Uh, if you guys could stick around for a quick bounty and then we'll come back to stream stuff. Uh, and I can think about what we want to use this on in the meantime, so... Let me split the recording. Um, I need to split the VOD on YouTube as well, which unfortunately means the stream's gonna go down. The stream will be back up in a little bit on YouTube. I hate that YouTube is like that with splitting VODs, but it is. Uh, but yeah, let me do the bounty before I run out of time while I think about this. Which pawn from my past run has been my favorite? Which my most hated? My most hated has been Viper, 100% Viper. Viper lost us the Rimmonship. If Viper didn't take 215 tribals or whatever off the map by himself, by being kidnapped, we would have won. Um, my most, my favorite pod? I'm not sure. There's a lot of really good ones. Mortar baby, floor child. Love bad candy. All right, let me save this. We'll uh, we'll come back, and I think I'm gonna use it against the war queen. The favorite pod is Adam, of course. Such a hero, taking all those tribals by himself. Yeah, hero, hero. Experiment was uh, so experiment was a really fun pawn because it was the first run of biotech and uh, we knew not I knew nothing about the genes or any of the biotech stuff and he became a god he came as a little kid that we hazed and beat up and experimented on and then he turned out to be a literal god like the best colonist in that colony by leaps and bounds that was a pretty good one all right those of you on YouTube again sorry the stream is going to go down temporarily uh, I'm going to split this, though. Do my bounty. If you want to help with the bounty, bounties pay me on viewer count alone. So you can always come over to YouTube, or excuse me, from YouTube to Twitch. Help with the viewership for eight minutes. Uh, it helps support all the content. But yeah, I need to I need to stop that. But thank you, guys. Uh, if I don't see you again today, I'll thank you either way. Let me go ahead and split it, though.